hello Yakuza fans, how are we doing today? <laughs> hello non-Yakuza fans, how are we doing today? Hello, hello! I hope it's it's a good Saturday so far. Do, 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 do. Hello! Hello, hello! How we doing? Excited for the full moon? <laughs> I'm not! <laughs> Me with coffee. Me also with coffee. Good morning! How's it going? Hello, Mr. Sinos, Mike, Repulso, Raj, Giratina, Elfo, uh, Movemeister, Mike, Hannah's Flannels, um, Emperor, hello, Renoshi, hello, Daddy Yum Yum, Will Rock, Downpour, Wizard Stars, uh, hello, Choival, Kurizu, Headband, Penguin, um, Mikhail, maybe? Hello, Michael, Mikhail, um, Win, hello, uh, Inark, Melody, Bluebud, Racker Swift, um, Regplate, Wise Man, Miso Soup, Julia, uh, Top Cape, Goose, Moon Songstress, hello! It's supposed to be AOT for uh, final day, but nah, it's Hannah full moon day for. <laughs> Take that, AOT! You're only like the biggest anime uh, out there. It's my time. Yes. Um. Hi Abaddon, how's it going? Hi Artisian, hello Brass. The stream is the Ken to my yippee. <gasps> wow, that's so beautiful. Uh, hello Leo, I forgot that today was a Saturday. I didn't realize there was a stream today. Yes, there is. Um, it's gonna be a doozy, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, final stream of the week. We've had a big stream week, five whole days. Welcome to the Just Chatting portion of the stream, also known as Hannah Screams about Seto and Mocha Bukaiba for a little bit. Okay, you know, you didn't have to call me out like immediately upon starting the stream, but yes, I. you know what? Yu-Gi-Oh is great, and Seto and Mocha Bukaiba have little pictures of each other that they keep on each other all the time, and it's... <laughs> I'm doing really well with Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm doing really well. <laughs> I didn't realize they were in the shapes of card! Ah! They are! They are! Oh no, they are! <gasps> I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. This is, I'm, it's over. It's over for me. Where's your kite about astrology and glamour? Am I going to finally level Astro to 90? Maybe. I think it's been stuck at like 67 for a year. Yeah, it's time. What is this emote? Baby! It's going to make me cry whenever I look at it. We have such a bizarre collection of BTTV emotes on this channel at this point. I don't even know what's going on. Um, Kaiba is such a nerd. He is, and he's just so weird. But like, in the best way possible. He had a really good line today, but I don't remember what it was. Oh! It was like, okay, so if you remember what I told you yesterday. Wow, I love Yu-Gi-Oh time. So if you remember what I told you yesterday. You, uh, uh, Joey and Kaiba dueled. And then Kaiba like took Joey's wrist and threw him on the ground. And then Bakura was like, check his pulse. And it was just like, what? Um, so then the next episode. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So sorry. The end of that, at the end of that episode, Yugi's like, I understand why you have to do this, Kaiba. Like, I get it. And Pegasus has got to be taken down. And then Kaiba's like, this is a war. And he was the first casualty, referring to Joey, who he just hurt Joey's wrist a little bit. And then the next episode starts with Joey in what seems like the Shadow Realm. And I was legit sat there like, did I miss a very important scene in which he did actually kill Joey? I thought he just hurt his wrist, but Bakura seemed pretty certain that Joey was dead. 
And now Joey seems to be in the Shadow Realm, and I know that Shadow Realm means death. And then suddenly Kaiba was in the Shadow Realm with Joey, calling him a puppy and saying, I'm your master, sit at my heel. And I was like, huh, that's weird. And then Joey woke up from a dream. So anyway, Joey and Kaiba just, wow. <laughs> Oh boy. I always dream about my classmates like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyway, that's the Yu Gi Oh update. And also, Mokuba and Kaiba are the cutest little babies alive ever, maybe. Also, Pegasus, I think, is legally insane. Oh, and then also, there's a guy called Bones, and I love Bones. You know how I liked Bug Guy Weevil? Bones is a zombie guy. And he just has zombies. And he looks like a zombie himself. And everyone keeps being very mean to him about the fact that he looks like a skeleton. But I love him. And I think he's cute. And he's just a little guy. And he is very sweet. Oh, and also Tristan punched a boulder. It was maybe the greatest scene of anime I've ever watched in my entire life. This huge boulder was ch like rolling down this tunnel as they were running away. And Yugi's like, why is this boulder chasing us? And Tristan goes, because we're downhill. And then Bakura trips, gets crushed by the boulder. And then they reach a dead end. And, the and Tristan goes, uh, oh, frick, I don't feel remember what he says. If we can't escape it, I've got to fight it. And he goes to punch a huge boulder. And then he punches it, and it turns out that the boulder was a balloon. So I'll just let you sit with that for a little bit. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! is the greatest show ever made, I think. Oh, and then later- sorry, 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 I'm not gonna let you sit with that. Sorry, he punches the boulder, it pops, it's a balloon. The next scene happens. The- the villains of that episode have done villainous things, and Tristan runs up and he's like, I'm not gonna let you do that! And one of the villains throws a pebble at Tristan's head, and it knocks him out. Directly after when he was going to punch a boulder. Anywho, let me say some hellos to the people who have joined stream whilst I have been rambling about Yu-Gi-Oh, the best show ever made. <laughs> Chimera, I hope you're well. Um, thank you for distracting me. So, hello, lads. Huh? 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 Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm saving. I'm not reading. I'm waiting for the, the sounds to tell me. There we go. <laughs> Time for some morning P3Z canon. Um, what's factor dog who failed to save a key boyfriend now dog who goes around to make sure no one is gonna go any murder plot cause doesn't wanna fail to save someone he cares about again. See, that's all. Yeah. And that's not even a head cannon, that's just real. Oh man, thank you for the 100 bits, Silia. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, um, hello Chimera, hello Lord, hello Indiana, uh, hello Cartman, Boots, Akihiko Speedo, Uber King Kai, hello, Blueberry, hello, Makikima, hello, um, Oxnash, hello, um, 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 um Chazis, hello, Stara, hello, AJ, hello, um, Gulicious, hello, Ray, hello, um, 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 um Furious, hello, Naz, hello, Hello, Kaki. I'm still in my feelings from Gintama. Gintama's great, man. It's like you're just doing silly ha ha he he's and then suddenly there's an episode and you're crying and you're like, what? Where did this come from? Hello, Keru. You are never free from Yu-Gi-Oh, never. It's so incredible. You know, usually when a show is like 200 episodes long, I'm like, that's not for me. I don't have the time nor energy for a show like that. Yu-Gi-Oh... Uh, 
Let's... Uh, I need more, probably. Hello, Yemi! Full time moment! Ah. I'm not gonna lie, Hannah, you talking about the show is going to literally bring back my hyperfixation. I don't have time! It's time. Join me. Join me. Chipping Nibs, thank you so much for the 34 months! Thank you, thank you! How's it going? Welcome back. Thank you so much. Hello, Nuxie. Um, I put on my neighbor's horses today. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I thought it was cute that he came up to me. That's very cute. Oh my God. I wish I had a neighbor with horses. I would spend all my time petting them. Um, <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh! is barely about a card game. It's about the beautiful complexities of life. Um, and then also dueling. But, um, you know how I said like, I don't really care if there's no rules in Yu-Gi-Oh! in the show. Like, as long as it's fun, who cares? I don't think there are any set rules at all. Like, I I don't understand how the game's played. Because someone will put down a card and then they can't do anything with that card. And then the next person puts down a card and then puts it in attack mode and does this. And they also play a magic card and then they also do like 500 things. And I'm like, how? But the other guy didn't get a turn. He just got to put a card down and that's it. it I, it's fine. Rules were ignored. Good. But also... <laughs> How you doing, boys? Hello, sudden one. Well, once again, be lurking from here on out. Enjoy your like. Rules? Fuck it, who cares? True. Rules are they make it up as they go. Good. Kaiba, fuck the rules, I'm rich. Good. Yu-Gi-Oh has no right being as ridiculous as it is. In 5Ds they said let's put a char children's card game on mo motorbikes and it works. I was being told about this yesterday. <clears throat> that it's like in space and motorbikes and you're dueling on motorbikes and... It sounds incredible. Hi Hungry, how are you? Action economy is an issue in new games as well. Oh no. It's about a card game, but the card game is called life. I watched the entire anime as a kid, and then when I got cards, I didn't know how to play. <laughs> I think that, I mean, not that I'm intending to get cards, but that would be me. I can't believe I was about to say when I get cards, as if that was an, like, an absolute thing. Your hair looks so different than on Twitter pics. Stuffed dim under the headset? My hair? Uh, my hair gets- well, yeah, the headset will make it less fluffy. Sometimes if I, like, pull bits forward, it just looks a little insane, because it's just, like... It just puffs out too much. I don't know. I never know what's going on with my hair. I simply just embrace whatever it looks like that morning. Very pretty, though. Thank you. There is a possibility of Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Pack opening on stream. We, we cannot become this. We can't. We can't go this far. You have to hold me back from becoming this person. You can't encourage it, please. <laughs> no. Hannah Gacha return, no. No. Please, no. <laughs> Yuki Hannah, that's me. We're rebranding, Yu-Gi-Oh! only. Imagine if Hannah and AJ set up a tabletop view and played some casual games on the stream. I would take time off from my time. AJ, if you're still here, when are we doing this? When are we dueling? <laughs> I can't believe Hannah will be playing card games on a motorbike on the stream two months from now. Time to do 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 do. Thing is, yeah, I think I would only want the cards, like, I, the thing is, is I would never want, like, an actual card set that works. I would just want individual cards that I find pretty or cool. And that would be it. If we're rebranding, who's Speedo? <laughs> I should like the car. Uh, Kaiba, I guess. Kaiba's Speedo. We've all met! <laughs> Weevil Speedo. That does, that's a ring to it. Weevil speedo. We weevil weevil speedo. Yes. 
That's exactly what my deck is. It's so worthless and also my Yu-Gi-Oh! characters. Just like me with Pokemon cards. <laughs> yeah! You know, I never I never watched Pokemon. I never played a Pokemon game, but me and my brother had like this random chunk of Pokemon cards and the way that we would play the game was um, we would put two cards down and then we would argue why our card should win. <laughs> so we'd be like, well, mine has like glitter so that means it's special so uh and then that would basically be it i have no clue what any pokemon does or like if a pokemon was like fire it could probably it would be weaker to like water that sort of thing i think there's fire and water pokemon i don't know like you play top trump with yes basically yeah 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 yeah, yeah. top trumps was the main card game we played so that's unironically the plot of a Pokemon episode. Somehow that doesn't surprise me, but I now want to see that one episode. I just bought so many Fire Emblem Cypher cards because they were pretty. I don't do anything with them. They're just in my wallet. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, if you could use anything to go by, and I can't believe this, I now know this show well enough to pull out these piles of wisdom. Uh, Joey couldn't beat skull and until he had his wallet with his sister's picture in it so i'm sure there'll be a day where you are like gosh i don't know if i can do this thing and you'll look down at your wallet and you'll see marth and you'll be like wow if marth believes in me i can do this marth i knew it 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 and it'll be playing card games before Yakuza 5. No, because Yakuza 5 could have Koi Koi in it. You think I've forgotten Koi Koi? I'll never forget Koi Koi. We're witnessing the beginning of something dark here. We really, really are. Koi Koi was the warning sign, actually. Whoa, now that I think about it. Wow. Koi Koi is your card game. It's my favorite. I love Koi Koi. I like actually want to teach people IRL how to play Koi Koi so that I can play Koi Koi because I love Koi Koi. Koi Koi is so good. Yakuza is worth any price simply for Koi Koi. Koi Koi Night? Koi Koi Night. I'm down. We need to buy a deck, but that's fine. Please do a Koi Koi teaching stream. Absolutely. When we return to Yakuza, I'll teach you everything. I will say I don't know much. I just know what I think the rules are. I don't know what the actual rules are. I've just kind of made up the rules in my head and figured it out. Don't worry about it. Also, please teach us Mahjong. I don't think I can teach you Mahjong because I there was that whole Yakuza 4 segment where I watched like many tutorials on Mahjong and they were all the wrong version of Mahjong. And it was very embarrassing for everyone involved. Which was just me and Tanamaru. She mentioned Yakuza, she's legally obligated to start Yakuza 5 now. Not only did I mention Yakuza, I started the stream with Yakuza opening music and I said, good morning Yakuza enjoyers. Am I dropping in clues? Am I dropping in hints? Or are these all red herrings? Who's to say? Gasp. <gasps> a Yakuza! <laughs> Anna abandons the JRPGs and story-based games to become a full-time professional Koi Koi streamer. I think it's my calling. You know, I might like narratives as much as the next guy, but card games. That's where it's at. Dogs, hello! What's Koi Koi? Koi Koi is a card game. It's in Yakuza. It's my favorite game. I love it so much. Um, I use a Hanafuda deck and it's great. That was a joke because I never did it. So you never knew true love. You never knew true beauty. You never knew true pure soul wrenching uh, Yakuza. <laughs> Yakuza. 
I'll I'll get you hooked on uh Oh wait AJ you weren't here, I guess. Um There has been requests, and by requests I mean Penguin said it and nobody else. Uh asked to do a Yu-Gi-Oh! duel uh with a top down stream and uh us to d -d 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 duel. So get ready. I second that. That two people two people have requested. Hello, Sota. How are you doing? <sighs> Have you played Gwent or its side game, Witcher 3? I. Yeah! Oh no, I did. I. Yeah, I loved Gwent in Witcher 3. I loved it. I loved going around. I loved getting all the cards. You know, I also love Triple Triad in Final Fantasy 14. I'm starting to realize something. I've got my 2004 deck set, let's go. I have nothing, but I'm willing to try. <laughs> the heart of the cards will guide me. Hannah wants to stall the full moon so much that we're actually going to play all of Yakuza 5 first. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think it's for the best. I've actually got my Yu-Gi-Oh shirt on. What, y'all, you have a Yu-Gi-Oh shirt? Hello? Thank you, Ray. Do you know you can buy the full physical Gwent deck, right? I did not know. That's crazy. Going to your Yu-Gi-Oh training arc? I guess so. All I do at the beginning of stream is talk about Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I thought you'd seen it, but maybe you didn't know it was Yu-Gi-Oh. I think it was probably that. I assume that I've seen the shirt, but I had no idea it was a Yu-Gi-Oh shirt because I was less cultured than I am now. She thought Yakuza changed her, but the warning signs were there all along. That's right, Julia. That's what I'm realizing. I thought Yakuza was the the thing that changed my life. And it, I think it turns out that Yakuza just was the coalescence of all of the things that changed my life. Because, yeah, I love Triple Triad. I love collecting cards, I think is the thing. Cause like Gwen, I liked collecting the cards by winning Gwen. And then Triple Triad, I loved playing Triple Triad to get more cards. Like, as soon as I know that there are cards becoming available to me, I'm like, I must go get these cards. Big year for media that starts with the letter Y. True. Whoa. <laughs> Last Yakuza game you played? Four. Four was the next one. Uh, four was the last one. We're replaying four next. <laughs> it was so good I want to play it twice. Hi Orange, how you doing? Thank you so much for the follow and thank you so much for the resub! Thank you so much, Julia. Welcome back for 17 months. Thank you. I hope you're so well. You've been here in chat for a while. I don't know why I'm saying that now, but I hope you're still well. Be Continue to be well, please. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Hello, Danfa. How are you? If Hannah was an NPC in a video game, she- I never knew I had such heat inside. I always, bonjour, friends. I miss you all. Saying hello for a minute from that restricted VOD land. I know you look incredible today. Thank and the you. Nice dishes, so do you. True. Thought, goobers. Goobers. Merci beaucoup for the 690 bits. Thank you so much, Sarah. I hope you're doing well. I hope the data restriction is unrestricted soon. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you. Uh, did I buy more bits for that a lot? Yes. Do I regret it? No. <laughs> we always need Yosuke having heat inside him. It's a, it's just a staple, really. Um, are you going straight onto the answer after the journey? I don't know. Probably, but actually, maybe not. What an answer that was. So basically, here's the thing. I'm going home for Christmas as into the UK. And I will be continuing to stream from there. 
But I don't know if or how I can get... Like... I don't know how the game is going to work. So I might either play a different game during that time. Because I don't think I can take my saves across, is the thing. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yes, or maybe or no. True. UK, not Australia. You should go to Dubai for Christmas. You can transfer saves, I think. I can help with that if you want. Yes, please. Yes, please. It's the Christmas special. It is the Christmas special. We will have loopies returning, probably. You know what I've realized though, is we are gonna have loopies returning, but I'm gonna have to transfer loopies in my suitcase across the world. We're having an international loopy Christmas. Oh boy. Um, really hope my suitcase doesn't get pulled aside. Loopies on tour, yeah. And so many people don't know what loopies are probably, so that's fun. You'll find out what loopies are. Imagine explaining loopies to customs. I would just rather die. <laughs> just, I'd rather perish in front of them. I don't want it. No. No. They unpack four suitcases for loopies. I know, because of have run for two streams. Yeah, true. <coughs> it was Danganronpa 2 last time. And uh, no, maybe Fire Emblem was November. I don't know. Hello, Jake. How you doing? Getting spaghetti. Uh, what's the difference between the journey and the answer? I don't know too much, but like the answer is basically like an epilogue, I guess, um, to the game. But if the game ends in a way that I really, really like and I'm like, I don't want this touched upon, then I probably will leave the answer for a little bit. And then if I'm like, I want more immediately, then I will do that and I will see what happens. Will you play Mario RPG Remake? No, I I, I don't know anything about Mario. Hi, Hana, how are you doing? It was probably 10 during one season. Yeah, 10 was the first loopy season. 10 was the first one. Um, Shikari, thank you for the follow. I hear he's Luigi's brother. That's true. I know that. Uh, yep. <laughs> I will be the answer's biggest campaigner, frick yeah. That explains why you don't remember X. Oh, 10. Yes. Yes. Yeah, no, probably true, actually. Hannah is finally going to play Final Fantasy IX after all my screaming. I'm trading in all my bands for it. Wait, so you get... Wait, so hold on. Huh? So your bands, which number 16, no, 18? I don't know how many bands you have. So because you've been banned, you actually get what you would like. Jake, I'm not sure about the logic on this one. I'm not sure. 17. 17 bands. No. Final Fantasy IX, I'm afraid, is... Uh, I'm aiming for Final Fantasy IX in, like... Okay, we didn't play a single Final Fantasy... Well, I played 14 this year. Rebirth next year. 10 replay... Eight, six, five, four. Maybe like 2027? No, that's pretty generous. 2029? <laughs> Ish? Maybe? Did you finish Baldur's Gate? No. No. Bugs Hannah got in the way. True. Yeah, I. you know, I would probably have been close to finishing Baldur's Gate if um, Baldur's Gate wasn't the most buggy, broken game I've ever played. 
finishing a Baldur's Gate 3 save is hard. Probably. I never got the opportunity to try because I can save my game. Will you ever try 16? I will, yeah. I don't know when, but... I'm sorry, I don't know when I'm gonna play any game ever. I was considering having another, like, vote thing for the next game because I don't know what it's gonna be. I just, like, it's, we're just gonna see what happens. Oh! <sighs> I'm surprised I was able to finish mine at all. You had a beautiful journey. 16 next game? No. Hannah, when will you play Persona 3 FES? <laughs> it's true. What? Mm. <laughs> 13 Sentinels, zero escape, not on the cards anymore? Is that the choice? Those would be two of the voting options. Or the only two voting options, probably. All we know is Yakuza 5 is not this decade. <laughs> You're going to play all the Yakuza games and spin-offs with Soy Yakuza 5, right? We're going to play one of them. We are going to play one spin-off before Yakuza 5. Hollow Knight in the Woods campaign is so back. It's your time. Danganronpa V3 in three minutes? Maybe. Yeah, because the chat's going to learn how to make a bot <laughs> You got a save bug? Yeah, basically my Borders Gate 3, I've had like, you know, if you can think up a bug, I've probably had it. Uh, my favorite bug was the bug I had where if I went to any trader in the entire game, I could no longer save my game. Um, that was pretty banging in terms of bugs um you know i should start writing a list because i don't even remember all the things i've had now every game is a yakka mini game true so how did i just say yak is a yak whatever thank you so much for the follow see you in 2029 oh yeah every game up to this point has actually been yaksify ishin Okay, think, okay, in terms of Yakuza spin-offs, think smaller than Ishin. Ishin? What's going on? Think smaller than Ishin. Think bigger than RGG Online. Judgment? Think smaller than Judgment. Think, think smaller than Judgment, smaller than Ishin, bigger than RGGO. Think hard to play. Think expensive. Dead Souls? Lost Souls? Dead Souls? Dead Souls? I think Dead Souls sounds pretty good to me. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. You're disappointed you were the first to say that? This is supposed to be the Yakuza chat. <laughs> you were paying for a fan translation of the PSP games. That's why it's so expensive. True. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. For the P3 movies, will you be having a watch party or just a discussion of it in your next stream? I think we might do a watch party thing, but I'm not 100%. General, thank you for the follow. Yakuza chat has been deceased for the past four months. We will revive Yakuza chat and they will thrive and they will be stronger than ever before. I miss Majima so much. I hope he's so well. I hope Yakuza 5 is his game. I just want Majima man. That's it. I just want him back. Majima misses you. Oh, don't say that. We got it. Let's replay Yakuza 0. I don't want to play the full moon. Let's do Yakuza 0. 
At least I know how that's gonna hurt me. <laughs> Mr. Seventh plays Bungie. I cannot say how funny I actually find it that the the Kiryu and Nishiki Persona sprites were Kaz is Kiryu and Hidetoshi is Nishiki because Hidetoshi I've maxed I maxed him pretty quick Kaz the first social link available dead in the gutter just like <laughs> God <laughs> will I ever return to him maybe. It's very funny. It's just, that's just mine and Nishiki and Kiri's relationship. It's great. It'll be Majima's game if you guarantee it's the next game, otherwise he removes himself from the game. No! No! Kaz will be remembered. We love Kaz. We love Kaz. We love him and his lungs and his knee and his swimming and his other personality traits. Will you feel bad when Kaz turns out to be the real antagonist? No. <laughs> I think Kaz should join Striga. I think that would be fun.
Hello. It's time. It's time. When is it Yakuza 5? In the hopes and dreams of the community. True. <laughs> I don't know when Yakuza 5 is, but it will happen and I'll let you know in the Discord when it's time and we'll be joyous. It will be great. It will occur and be the best. Time for Eggie's murder plot? True. I just really would love like one month where no one is gonna like freaking die or kill someone or just feel sad. Like, can we just feel the happiness in our hearts? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Why? Do you prefer? Do you prefer? Do you prefer? Jesus. Okay, one more try. <laughs> I'll get it this time. Do you prefer episode five or three for now? Uh, three. As of right now. As in, in the same time. In November of Persona 3 and in November of Persona 5. Not the whole of Persona 5 versus now and Persona 3. I hope, you know, I hope that makes sense. I forgot the intro. What could possibly go wrong? Persona 3 is a weird way to pronounce Yakuza 5, to be honest, but I won't judge British accents. Thank you, that's very sweet. Bill, Bill. You want her to successfully commit murder? I don't know if I want that. I'd rather she was unsuccessful and then happier for it. Like, if Ken had been successful, would he have been happy? I don't think so. A little mother is a treat. I... I... I can't wait to know the lyrics. I walk away from a sound restaurant is what I hear. My girl shrink do. I found you. Make me dance. A feelings. <laughs> something. <laughs> Reminds me that. I still live. The sound restaurant. I will burn my friends. No clue what said that, even slightly. Till I see the sunlight again. I left my pace and I walked through the sunlight, I think. It's great. I love my face. Oh, I can, yeah, no, I can hit, I can see that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I left my pace? I don't know. I left my place? Who's to say? Okay, I have to load save four. I left myself a very big reminder. Load save four! <laughs> oh, you can see all my notes from Silent Hill as well. <laughs> Bell, bell, bell. Ba -da 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 -da. Load Yakuza 4. <laughs> Yay! Yakuza 4! Whee! Okay. So things are looking pretty grim right now. <laughs> We don't know what we're going to do on the full moon. Strega are back. Chidori's dead. Junpei's recovering. Um, Aegis wants to kill Ryoji. <laughs> Ryoji wants to make out with Junpei. 
I want to make out with Ryoji. It's all just, it's a mess. It's a disaster. I don't know what's going to happen. But it's a love triangle where murder in, is the main agenda. <laughs> make out with Ryuji and not Junpei. Make out with both. Agusa doesn't seem to like Ryoji sad. Honestly, she's exhibiting the symptoms that I displayed when I was going to kill uh, Shijiro. I agree that he's a bit strange, but I think he's okay. Oh, be shocked. Fair enough. Honestly, very valid. <laughs> Astro, thank you for the follow. Game really is just death and polyamory. Honestly, yeah, it really is. I wonder if I've been reversed by any women. That's a good point. Um, only two. We're doing great. Oh, piss counter. I'm so sorry. 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 Boom. It should be on now. Peace. How's dying young man been? I haven't seen him in a bit. Hi, Cal. Who did we reverse? Uh, Chihiro. Yeah, no, it's Chihiro. No, it is. Okay, Chihiro and Fuka. And I'm cool. He's no longer dying. Okay. Oh, do we have an extra? Oh, I can't reach them. We have an extra apathy person that I never noticed. I always knew this one, but we have another one. The hero and Shuka. True. My favorite duo. Not Shahiro Duncan Rumpel One. I love Shahiro Duncan Rumpel One. Hello, new apathy neighbor. Yay! Right, do I have all the key stoners I pee choir? Orpheus and Asper. Yeah, we're done. Great, sick. Um, Raphael, Okiki. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay. Sick. Ready for some pea soda? What's for lunch? I hope it's so yummy. Remember when I told you how I forgot to check my fortune and started to sweat? Now I check my fortune first thing in the morning after I wake up. If I forget to check it, I can't get through the day without sweating. She can't go through the day without her fortune? This is bordering on addiction. What should I do? Maybe I should ask Mama. Wait, wouldn't it be weird to get a fortune teller's advice on shaking an addiction to fortune telling? Now I'm really lost. How often have you used Cadenza lately? Not too often, you know? But I think it's worth keeping around just in case. I think Helen has a certain fixate. Akechi wasn't piss boy. Akechi was sushi boy. Akechi was not a piss boy. He was sushi boy. Because the first line that he says is, can we go get sushi? And that withheld me from getting pancake boy spoilers because everyone just called him sushi boy. Akechi is Lee's piss boy. That's see that and that's beautiful. Convey belt only. Mm. Jimmy's so always a pancake boy. He is, of course, like the meme is that he's the pancake boy, but pancake boy is kind of a spoiler. So to somehow, like somehow by calling him sushi boy in my playthrough, we didn't get the pancake boy spoiler.
but he is truly a pancake boy. Yosuke is the piss boy. Yosuke is the most piss boy to ever exist. He is the pissiest boy. Even though this boy has canonically pissed 330 plus times or something, he will never beat Yosuke in terms of pissing. Like, Yosuke is the piss boy, piss boy. He's the piss boy's piss boy, you know? He's a boy and he's full of piss. And I love him. How's tricks, Groovy? Yos Yosuke canonically pissed he did, and it, that was where it all began. That damn smile. Yosuke had a whole piss clown <laughs> too. They are both Yuri piss boys! Oh no. Hi, sweaty foot, how's it going? The heat inside gives Yosuke a piss advantage, true. Anna, you're the ultimate lucky student because that is Looney Tunes level, level luck to accidentally joke yourself out of spoilers, true. To be honest, I don't think I would have like fully picked up on it. Well, maybe I would if everyone called him Pancake. I don't know. Would you like to know your fortune? Yes, please. Very well. The answer and the secret to life are passed on, one life to the next. Two lights now appear through the shadow and now uh, the other is now. Okay. Uh, Mutatsu is not here, I don't think. Okay. We go to the arcade. Bing, boom, ow. Hey, antique shop. I have questions for you. Welcome. I heard the news. Kirijo san passed away. But there's no need to talk about such things. Oh. Okay. So I've been reading this, this, these really crazy things um, called documents and they say things and um... <laughs> so much irrelevance. My old boss bit him. Anyway. <laughs> Kurijo. Wait, like the Kurijo group. <gasps> I never put it together. <laughs> Kurijo group. Kuri that Kurijo. <laughs> no. No. There's no way. Surely. Imagine if we met a Kurijo high school student at some point in this game. Imagine. Like imagine like hallway lesbian or something suddenly like drops the piece of information that they are a Kurijo just out of nowhere and we just have to sit and think about that that one of us has been a Kurijo this whole time and we never knew. Poof. Imagine. <laughs> Hello, Smeenge. How's the sad kid gang? Well, the murderous tendencies have taken hold once more, you know, and It is what it is. Um, this time it's Eggie's turn. She she's ready to go. So I'm really looking forward to the events that occur. Yep. Because of the VA? You already know. You already know! Have you ever used gloves on Piss Boy? I think we did briefly. But maybe it was very brief. 
At least Eggy wants to kill someone outside of the group. True. True. Better than inside. Did I miss the moon? No. We have two days. We're counting down! Uh, I wonder if I got time to make some food? Maybe! We might have a social link. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Spider-Man Blue and Yosuke doing the Spider-Man meme because they're all the best play. Louise stalling? Social links are stolen. It's true. It's true. I didn't go to the arcade! Whoops. The crew do thing came out of nowhere for me because I was here assuming you were Big Bang Theory rising the whole time only for you to drop the bombshell that you thought them and Mitsuru's thing was completely separate things. I just didn't realise that career- I just didn't- Because- Like they weren't really talking about Kurijo, like ever. And then like in the the, the the dictionary thing, it and then I didn't Okay. I I, I, I uh, Whatever. I'm gonna play some more cake game. I just thought it was a Kutsuki! I think it was a Kutsuki was a dad, but like I just didn't get it. I didn't know what the creature group was! I didn't understand what it meant! So I thought like maybe we would do- I don't- it doesn't matter! You showed the machine what you could dish out. Hello mate. Oh. <laughs> Hi Megan, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just, you know when you get a cutscene and you're like, God, fuck, I don't want this. Hi Mitsuru, we were just talking about you. Oh. Before you leave, no! Come back, Megan! Come back! It's just because the kids are gonna murder someone and I'm stressed about it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I just muted a lot. Oh, I wish I could unmute them and they would still play. Frick. Will it replay? Thank you so much! Wait, Mitsuru is a cure hole. Oh boy. <laughs> a what? <laughs> a Kiri ho? Okay, we should have kept them muted. Alamature, thank you so much for the 20 months! Holy moly! Thank you so much! Okay, Alerts are now muted whilst we do the cutscene. Hello? It's me. I'm sorry for calling so late. As for what to do with the new arrival... I would like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. If we find any distinguishing features, we may be able to locate her family and... I can't shake my suspicion that the Kirijo group is tied to Strega in some way. The what? <gasps> wait, as in like, wait, okay, if they're talking about Chidori, wait. Chidori does have red hair. Could she have been experimented on? Like Mitsu? It's not relevant, it's fine. Because of this, I think it would be disrespectful to the deceased to cover up her death. 
I will, of course, take full responsibility. Huh? What did you say? Transmogrified? Y you mean the corpse? Ooh. But judging by the post-mortem, we were certain she was... <gasps> Understood. Oh, God! I'm sorry, but this must be kept strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. This is messed up! No! <gasps> well then. What's going on? Hmm. We'll have to wait and see what happens for now. Can you tell the other people in the group, please? Okay, I'll go to sleep. She's. She needs to tell the other people. It is relevant. It's so relevant. It's pretty relevant. It's like at least 80 to 90 percent relevant to the current situation it is relevant <laughs> it's so relevant <laughs> hi mitsuru got anything to say what a coincidence well since you're here i'd like to ask you if you're free after school i don't know yet do you have anything to say i see well i'd like for you to come with me somewhere that is, if you're available, just let me know. To the morgue? <laughs> Junpei, you're here. The class is in for today. Wow. I uh, know I'd wait until I knew more until I said anything. I wouldn't personally because we all of us fully know that the full moon is in two days. We know that in well now one day we know that in one day this whole situation will be at the max of its capacity and like at the max of its power. So the fact that Chidori is transmorifying is like probably very key considering that she's about to get probably more powerful therefore I think everyone should know because it feels unfair to not tell them it's definitely understandable but I'm like you you should do it you know <laughs> Hold on, for those of you who don't know what it is, here we go! During the dark hour, those without the potential turn into coffins. Don't worry about it. Sure it's fine. Sure it's fine. Ryoji-san was absent today- So what if she turned into a coffin? She's dead, that's what she's supposed to do! <laughs> Chidori's actually being very helpful. Ryoji-san was absent today as well. I wonder what happened. Did you kill him already? That was fast. He's probably sick or something. It's been cold lately. Or maybe he met a hot chick on the way to school and decided to go out with her. <laughs> that guy does stuff like that without even thinking about it. Yes. He'll never think again. I mean... She was very fast. She was very... She, she got rid of that body quick. Dude, I was looking forward to meeting some babes. 
But I guess it wasn't meant to be. A school is the hottest chicks anyway. <laughs> That's not how the common code works. Why do these games always do this? Probably because they're just like 16 and usually people get sick around Christmas time and then they just, you know, don't really think much about it. They've got a couple things on their mind, to be fair. His girlfriend just died, so you know. I'll, I'll let him have this one. Career experience the other day was just so boring. Just the same stuff over and over again. I should have just ditched. I would have had more fun sitting in class and doing nothing. Career experience. That's all about like seeing for yourself what a real job is like, right? I'm doing a part-time job already though. It's a secret to the school, but... I already know everything I need to know to enter society. How can they make us work for free? This is 2009. It's before people learned how to cover their mouth when they sneeze. They don't know how to wash their hands yet. Mitsuru Senpai has cheered up a little, which is good, but I still feel awkward. I couldn't help her at all. Oh. Oh. I took him back to the hot spring to drown him. Yay! I believe you and you. Yes, so true. Orlando Vitagawa sensei will ever give out any normal medicine. Everything he prescribes is abnormal in some way. Hey, don't you think Edagawa sensei and Onishi sensei would make a weird pair? They always fight with each other, but for those two it works. One freaky couple. <laughs> Mr. Oh, I've, I thought that they were dating, but shipping. I mean, sure, I guess. Mr. Ono seems to have stepped out. Miss Toriyumi. The composition teacher. Oh no. Ugh, damn it, I did it again. When does Class F have their next lecture? Oh, Blueken. But what is it? Oh, I get it. You brought me some cake, huh? I'm not a fan of Mont Blanc, but I like all the other kinds. Uh, that's not what I meant to say. Hey, you're here just in time. I was about to go fill the class in on the section I forgot to explain in my last lecture. School's over. If I don't do it, I am gonna get a reprimand. It's tough being a teacher. If I explain it to you right away, could you pass it on to everyone else? That doesn't have to be too detailed. Hey, do you want some watermelon next time I have some left over? <laughs> ah! I felt something st staring at me! What's happening?! <laughs> Did you, did you bring me cake? This isn't the kind of cake I like. Anyway, I should probably go teach my class. Can you go teach the class for me? Anyway, do you want watermelon when I have some left over? Oh my God, I think someone's staring at me. That rotten neck coat is somewhere around here. Damn it, I guess I'll have to do this myself. Ugh, well, I might as well practice the lecture on you. I mean, We've, t we've already established you're not going to give the lecture in my place, right? You can listen to Mr. Yumi's lecture by yourself. This should boost our social link with Maya. I'm just saying, but whatever. Mr. Ono doesn't seem to be returning. She's a mess and I admire that. She is a disaster and I love it. Probably one of my favorite Persona teachers. Uh, 
Boo boo. Maybe Toriyumi is Maya, not because of all the teacher hints, but because of how ADHD and unhinged she is. You got a point. But that's not Maya, that's Miss Toriyumi. <laughs> Crying boy, what a coincidence. Are you leaving now? Yes. Okay, then let's go. It's rare that I have any free time. Debatable. With my favorite octopus gun. Octopus. Oh my gosh, have a big nap. Holy moly. Interesting. So, Takoyaki doesn't consist of an entire octopus, only a small po po potion? Portion. Well, it makes sense. An entire octopus would be too much food for one person. <sighs> Sometimes I'm amazed at my ignorance of the world. Aww. Mitsuru seems dejected. Me. <laughs> I mean. I mean. I'll treat you. Huh, who do you think I am? Please allow me to treat you. She's self aware. Beautiful. What? They don't accept credit cards. <laughs> She's not self-aware. <laughs> it seems even more dejected. I'll do it. Mitsuru's enjoying her takoyaki. So it's filled with diced octopus inside. Interesting. Oh, I forgot to unmute a lot. I'm so sorry. Disappointed in you. They think so are you? Huh? A woman? I don't know what that is. Ah! Thank you so much for the bits. Mmm, it tastes slightly sour. Oh no, really? Have you tried it since then? I love takoyaki. But I think you have to get like the right takoyaki because some of it can be not as good. Are there other ingredients in addition to the octopus? Well, whatever they may be, they taste absolutely delicious. C'est a très bon. Mitsuru has discovered how delicious takoyaki tastes. Your relationship with her has grown. Wow. That hurt. It's how I feel like Mitsuru would say it. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if I've actually ever heard Mitsuru's, like Mitsuru speak French. Or if it's only ever in text. Thou art I and I am thou. It's nice. Was that a good experience or a bad experience, Mike? She really is a combination of your two Persona girl- Pifo- p p What? Why can't I talk? Persona 5 girlfriends? Aru and Makoto? And Akechi? She said Trace Bien- Behind. Beautiful. Mitsuru is intrigued by you. Your relationship with her is growing. That reminds me of what Akihiko was talking about when we walked past here. Don't you think Akihiko has been acting differently lately? I don't mean to be rude, it's just... <laughs> it's just that I've known him for such a long time. Perhaps he's just maturing. Ooh, ooh, this is juicy. Ooh! Does that make you happy? Of course that makes me happy. With all we've been through, it can be difficult to get over our pasts. However, Akihiko is trying to learn from his experiences. I'm very impressed by him. Aww. When I look at Akihiko, 
I'm reminded of so many things about myself. I can't explain why though. Maybe you're in love. Maybe you're anxious. Maybe you're sad. How do I win? How do I win? What? Maybe you're anxious because you see someone else maturing and you're like, am I not doing it? Maybe you're in love. I don't think that's the way. Maybe you're sad. I don't... Maybe you're sad because... You see him growing up? Maybe... Is dot 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 an option? <laughs> Maybe you're anxious. Where's Lily when you need her? Dot 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 dot! Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Julia, but I see that with anxious and sad. You're in love feels a little immature. Maybe you're anxious. Anxiety? Hmm, maybe so. Mitsuru's expression turned dark. Perhaps I feel pressed for time because I'm the only one of us who isn't growing. Let's just forget about this. Ugh. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry for subjecting you to my incoherent ramblings. Please forget what I just said. field um this is so hard I wish I could have five, man. I wish. Um, that would just break Hannah's kitchen. True. That means it would be unplayable. Great vegetable, great dancer, and probably sometimes also great translation with a yeah. Great translation. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 150 bits, Julia. Thank you. Somehow it would cause Koromaru to leave the party. Um, I just think like nod in silence would be a great one. You know? I want to cheer her on, but I don't know if she wants that. <sighs> I'm gonna cheer on. Huh? What do you mean? Mitsuru seems puzzled. The takoyaki was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. That didn't go badly. I don't know if it went well, but it didn't go badly. Sup, dude. Sup. Tomorrow's the full moon. But we don't have any shadows to kill. Man, this sucks. I heard Ryuji's not feeling good. Maybe he's been studying too much. Ha <laughs> ha, nah, that can't be it. He's being slowly poisoned by a certain robot who isn't in the main... Where am I? Eggy, 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 egg... Eggy? Eggy, is this where you stand where you're contemplating murder? 
Again? Um, I will make sure you are safe. So, please do your best on your exams. Eggy! 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 Please stop. Please don't. Just don't do that. Don't do that. I'll be safe always. I will never be hurt and you will be fine and then we will be so happy. Okay? We haven't even had a social link yet, Eggy. We haven't become human. You need to do that so then we can unlock the social link. Because I think that's what that prompt meant. Eggy, can someone talk to Eggy? Can, can we, can, Konamaru, please talk her down. Okay. Agus didn't like Ryujikun from the moment she met him. Do you think it's because they just don't get along? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't really care. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. It's probably because he's always flirting. To be honest, I don't really like him that much either. So true, so true. I don't really care. Yeah, you're right. It's none of my business. Okay, she handled that very well. I would have been a little affronted personally. Even though Aegis is only uh even though Aegis is only a robot, her words really touched me. Aww. Only. Only a robot is a little mean, but it's fine. Aegis has been acting differently lately. She seems to have something on her mind. What do you think, Blueken? I agree. I wonder what happened to her. I can't tell. Are you saying it's just my imagination? Well, I hope you're right. There's nothing interesting. Okay. Hello, Angel. Everyone's studying for your exams. So make sure you don't tire yourself out. Thank you. Dude, I was surprised Aichan said that. Do you think I influenced her somehow? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ryoji also met her a while. <laughs> I'm surprised he's still alive. That guy's got a lot of guts. I see. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Bill, bill. I wonder what Shinji has to say about all this. We haven't talked to him in a while, have we? First Akinari, now this. Now this. I'm gonna put you in a trance. We can always ask Caesar. True! Oh! There are many files labeled shadow appearance dates. They are sent with a do not remove label. Oh, did we read that before? Yeah, probably. I thought it was new. I was so excited. Hi Dale, how you doing? I miss the puns. I miss Akutsuki every day. I will pee and think about him. Da -da -da. I'm seeing a lot of Yusuke. Has he left the party? <laughs> Man, I'm really wondering.
you want to catch you will come back in the plot unit. Kitchi is obviously the moon. True. He guides us. Oh, let me back your world. Hello, Koda. You want to go on a walk? Okay, don't walk for Karamaru. I guess I'll go. It's fine. It's fine. I'll go out. I'll go see the world. I'll see what's happening in the mall. Wanna go for walkies? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Every full moon, Munakechi shows up and says, Hi, do you have a moment? Do you wish to experience trauma today? Welcome home, honey. I was orphaned. <laughs> Hi Tara, how's it going? Well, once again I feel nauseous due to Persona 3. Love it! It's my favourite! Oh my god, Tanaka! Yay! Everything's fine. Nothing can go wrong now. Well, time for me to get cozy. Ha 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 ha. Ugh, what a beautiful day for a full moon. <laughs> Excellent. Eggy! Good morning. I intend to do my best to protect everyone. Is something wrong? No, please do not worry. I just wanted to share my feelings. Eggy, you're making me stressy. Please stop. Dude, Aegis just flew out the door today. Ryoji's gone too. Weird, huh? Weird, huh? Weird, huh? Weird! I hate having the extra perspectives of the characters actually. I've decided I hate Persona 3. I hate knowing. I hate having knowledge. I hate extra context. Just... To the bathroom and to your stall. <laughs> Are you okay? No! Actually, my body's in excellent condition, so I take that back. Anna, what's wrong? Aegis is probably gonna kill a boy and then probably sacrifice herself in some awful way and then I'm gonna be sad, she's gonna be dead, I'm gonna... <sighs> it's a lot. The other day I saw something weird on the internet, oh yeah, you told me. Don't worry about it. Hi Bookster, yes, it's everything's so good and happy. Anna is not okay since October started in this game. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, completely correct. Yes. Also, 
Even though the moon's full, we're not going home and don't we normally have like a meeting? But we have nothing to do, so what do we do? We just sit. I don't know. I Bye. Maybe it's time to start a new social life. Kesuke? My king? You want to get to know each other? <laughs> we have one social link. Oh yeah? You ready, king? Sympathetic? Wow. So many reverse social links. It's just two. It's just two little little links. It's fine. Go to Toshi's boyfriend. Sure. Let's do it. Oh, Blueken. I'm going to club right now. What are you going to do, Blueken? I'm I'm coming with you, man. <laughs> oh, but let's go together. Okay. I don't know why we're doing this. <laughs> Matt, thank you for the follow. I didn't go to the freaking teacher. Fuka! Fuka! She's here! The inside of the dark room smells like developing solution. The hours flew by while you were having fun. Fuka is grimacing. What's wrong? This has been happening to me a lot lately. Fuka seems to be in pain. I just have a little headache. It's no big deal, really. You should really determine the cause of your headache. It could lead to further complications down the road. Why are you experiencing the pain? Is it on one or both sides of your head? Can you describe the pain? Is it dull, aching, throbbing? Kisuke is trying to determine exactly what's wrong with Fuka. Uh-oh, Kisuke Senpai's playing doctor again. Looks like Fuka-san's not going anywhere for a while. I love how they move their arms. Like they're just, <laughs> What are they conversing? How do they talk to one another? <laughs> Playing doctor? Yeah, if someone isn't feeling well, Keisuke Senpai always tries to figure out what's wrong with them. It doesn't matter when or where either, and he doesn't stop until he knows exactly what it is. Sometimes it takes forever. The other members of the club seem annoyed. Well, they, you can go home. Keisuke Senpai's father is the director of a large hospital. Fuka. That makes Keisuke the enemy. Fuka, your parents have inferiority complexes because they're not doctors. I guess he just can't sit down to see people in pain. I bet he'll go to medical school and become a doctor. Oh, but he just wants to be a photographer. I see it now. So the pain is emanating from the back of your head. Please, turn around. <laughs> what you're suffering from is known as a chronic tension type headache. Most likely a result of stress. You must be spending too much time in front of the computer. You, okay. You should get outside and exercise more. Okay, okay, skiing. That advice must sound funny coming from the leader of the photography club. Oh, I thought I might have come down with the flu or something. Well, if you're worried about that, I should perform a more detailed examination. Please remove your sh- Kisuke. <laughs> okay. Please remove your shirt, open your mouth and stick out your tongue. Okay. Someone just- Knock this man unconscious, real quick. Uh, uh, that is okay. I'm fine. Anyways, my dorm is close by and my dorm mate Blueken is here. You guys are dorm mates? Wow, I can see how Fuka lives in the dorm.
What? I... <laughs> what? What does that mean? I mean, she's a girl, so she knows how to cook and clean. What is going on? I gave this man one chance, and it's just the most bizarre social encounter in this game. And we talk to our teacher online every Sunday. But what about you, Blicken? Isn't it hard living on your own? Are you coming on to me? Aren't you with Hidetoshi? What's happening? What's happening? It seems like Keisuke wants to get to know you better. Your relationship is stronger now. He spent the entire social link talking to Fuka and we have developed a relationship. Incredible. What's happening? I'm, I don't, this was exactly what we needed before a full moon. <laughs> you know how I said that I was stressed out? I'm not anymore because I don't even know what emotions are because what has this boy done? I don't know. My brain doesn't feel real. Oh, sorry, Fukusan. I completely forgot about you. Now, regarding your headache, I don't think you should be walking home. Why don't I call you a taxi? On second thought, maybe a limousine would be better. The ride would be much, much smoother. Oh, that's okay. I'm fine, really. What is wrong with Keisuke? I don't... <sighs> Shudders. Let's see me come back. Hi, how was your day? How was yours? Tonight is the full moon, but we won't be conducting an operation. Won't we? Really? Maybe I should summon Juno though, just in case. By the way, <laughs> have you seen Igus? No. Igus has been returning late these days. She never used to. I wonder what happened. I want to go stand in a dark corner and be sad. Fuka retconning her own memory. <laughs> You Are you okay? It's the full moon. You need to focus. Blue, what did he mean? <laughs> what did he mean? What did he mean when he said he understood why Fuka had me as a dorm mate? What, do what does that mean? I would recall my own memory as well. He's <laughs> like, definitely a serial killer. He blue gives off a parentless vibe. He is parentless. <laughs> Half of the people in this dormitory don't have parents. I think Fuka has two. Junpei has, I think, two. Not really sure. The rest of us are I, orphans! Oh wait, no, Yukuri has a mother. Sorry, Yukuri's mom. Yukuri has one, but it's estranged. Keisuke, you need to answer for your crimes. What have you, what have you done? Mitsuru had a father, now she is just a Mitsuru. <laughs> Junpei might have parents. Junpei's parents are incredibly low-key. Hey, 
absent, not too. Really. Hey Yosha, you wanna, 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 go on my use me, go on my use me, go on my use me. Is she trying to say limousine? Sorry, I'm just deep in the Keisuke rabbit hole. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 233 bits. My mom is orphan, so I'm half <laughs> Oh my god. Where is Keisuke on the tier list? Thank you for the follow. So you can't. Sorry, what if what if I click if I click to show? What does it do? He isn't. What did Kaz do to deserve that ranking? What did Kaz do? That's a great question. Um, Kaz. Yeah. And then Kaz. Mm. Eagle that low? I am offended. I'm sorry, I, you know, Eagle's cool. I don't, he doesn't do anything though, for me. Like, as in like, he just, I'm just, he just. He just, you know? Thank you so much, Silverwind, for the two months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for using your Prime. Like, I'm, I'm very, very glad that um, Igor has lovers, but I've just never been a, a, Igor, a Igor kind of person. Like, I think he's the most interesting in Five, but other than that, he just kind of sits there, you know? And he's great, you know? He sits there. And then he... And that's great! <laughs> he isn't true. Wow, we've immortalized Penguin's spelling mistake. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Igor has lovers. This is the P3 plot twist. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't know. Igor births personas. He does. He does give birth to personas. And that's beautiful. But like... I don't know how he feels about that. And that's what I need to know. No! Come back, penguin! Ah. Hello, Duke. I don't know how spoilery it's going to be today, Duke. I think it's probably going to be pretty. Just... I'm scared for you, you know? I'm scared. you got to be safe. 
There is a full moon tonight. I'll be looking around with Juno. So we won't be going to Tartarus tonight. There's nothing interesting on the news. Therefore I must piss. You peed? Spoilers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Three hundred and fifty pisses! Wow! We're almost at four hundred. <gasps> Siren's out! You did great, Siren. You did amazing. My piss bet has been hit! We lost S Siren and Swiftest Knight! No! Siren is out if you piss again. Well, Siren, you could be the winner if the game ends today. So, get ready! And maybe Swiftest Night 2? Do you want to go on a walk? Probably not because it's full moon, but I'll check anyway. Arr! Okay. So. Huh. I don't really know what we do now. <laughs> Normally I'm quite directed, so I'm a little lost. Uh, a little, a little, I'm a little, you know? Huh. Um. Hi CL, the moon is full and no, nothing's happening. Let's go find out Igus. She's probably murdering someone. Another detail I love in P3 is that they acknowledge when their personas change. Yeah! I think it highlights their relationships with their personas very nicely and it's very cool. And the more you piss, the more murders that will be planned in this game. We're screwed. It's over. It's over before it's begun. Well, I guess I'll go to the arcade on this for me. <laughs> this feels wrong. This feels not correct. Uh -uh. Ah, what a beautiful full moon. Time to go to sleep, I guess. Ah. What a pleasant evening I had. Oh, nom nom, sleep time. Hopefully I won't get woken up in the night. Oh, that's strange. What's happening? I've been looking for you. That was such a cool shot, by the way. Of, of Ryoji looking at the moon and then Eggy. Very good. I just wanted to say that I think it looks very beautiful before all of the horrors occur. You, you're. What are you doing here? Oh, that's right. You don't really like me, do you? Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird, and there's no one here. Something terrible has happened here, and yet I feel at peace. Hmm. Have you forgotten? Eggy. Forgotten what? The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. But you, you've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Mm. 
Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. You are my enemy. Your enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. I but just okay, I just but just look at his portrait though. Is your he tucking into his little scarf? I love him. <laughs> he looks so cute. He's going to do terrible things, but wow. <laughs> ah! It was long ago. Oh, he's sad. Come on. He's a good boy. Yes, we met once before. As adversaries. Who, who am I? He's sad. You can't hurt him. He doesn't even know. He doesn't know. Who are you? He doesn't know. I am Igis. The last remaining anti shadow emergency control weapon. A machine created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy shadows? And you, your true name is Death. I call him Pharos, because we're friends. He's a nice guy. Inside, probably. I don't know. He never. He never, well, no. He did say some concerning things to me. Bye. Ah. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Ooh, boy. <sighs> no, not an actual cutscene. Oh man. Okay. Ten years ago, the night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. For that reason, I was given a personality and a persona. They said I was death, the 13th Arcana that was never meant to be. And I wasn't in this world for long, before parts of my body escaped me, leaving me incomplete, as I was when I met you. Even so, your strength was far greater than I anticipated. The only possible alternative was to seal you away. And as circumstance would have it, a suitable vessel was available. Very blue. A human child standing nearby. So I did what was necessary. I see. So I was confined within him. And I led him to my 12 missing pieces without realizing it. And then... Uh, I remember. I remember everything. It all makes uh. sense now. Who and what I am. Palladian! Stop, don't be foolish, I guess. I'm the voice act wait. There's no way you can win. I'm different than before. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. I exist for nothing else. It doesn't have to be that way. But she wants to protect wait so how does this work because what if she what if he what if i am sorry i have failed no you haven't you're amazing a no machine is worth 
limitless. No! If it cannot fulfill its no. purpose. Stop. I'm sorry. Don't scare me like that. I don't understand what's happening, but it doesn't feel good. But it also feels kind of cool. It's very cool, but it's also bad. Eggy is feeling emotions. That's fun, but also not good emotions. So that's less fun. However, Ryoji. But then, what happens? Okay, but if he is inside us... But he's not inside us, but he is kind of inside us, but he's not... But what does that mean if he gets hurt? I don't know! So what am I? I'm just a boy. I'm a blue boy in a blue world. This is, there's a lot of things are going! <laughs> okay. This is very stressful. Ryoji's inside me. Thank you so much for giving that sub to XX Dark Shadow Heart. XX. Thank you. I hope Eggie's okay. I mean, she's not, but I hope she's okay. We can go. We can get her. She's fine. She's gonna be fine. Is something wrong? But then I'm so scared that like she wants to protect us and to do that she wants to get Ryoji but then by getting Ryoji she's gonna hurt us somehow. But I don't know if that's how that works because he is out of us. Oh I'm stressed okay. Well, it's a full moon tonight. You noticed it too, didn't you, Senpai? Jeez, I'm starting to feel like a workaholic. Oh no, did something? So that cousin was so good. Ugh. We don't know anything for sure. However, we can't find Igis. Huh, where would she have gone? I sensed a persona, but it quickly disappeared. And soon after that, I couldn't detect Igis's presence. Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't sensed any of their members, but we can't be positive. I've confirmed Igis's location. She's on the Moonlight Bridge. All right. Call the others. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, <laughs> Goro. I guess I'm sorry. I I Remember everything. Who I am. Who he is. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. It's going to be okay. All of it. No worries. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. 
there's no need for you to apologize. Hey, honey, not right now. Oh, actually, you're agreeing with me. Fine, you can talk. You? Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... Eki. Ah! I guess doesn't seem to be functioning properly. What's going on? It's all my fault. Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Tell us. Who are you? What are you? I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm the embodiment of all shadows. The Apprizer, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The frightening truth about myself and shadows. It's all so hard to believe. Oh. You know the truth about shadows? Yes. Shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Okay. She will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. The Apprizer. You, you're the Apprizer? What is this maternal being? She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. Not long after, I fell to Igis, as she did to me. Igis? Is that true, Ryoji? She knew she could not defeat me. So in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. That child grew up, carrying me inside him. And by a twist of fate, he later returned here. Wait, so... Wait, so in the opening cutscene, when your child was inside us, he was like, Hey, you should shoot that gun! That was, like, kind of us, but also... Not us, but also pretty us, telling ourselves that, but also not. I'm sure that's fine. As a transfer <laughs> student. You mean? Yes. I lived inside him. His special persona awakened. As did the twelve shadows, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? A and you are inside him? <laughs> okay, if we... <laughs> These are my personal affairs and I would really appreciate it if we could just... Stop discussing them so openly in front of everyone. None of this makes sense! Well, Junpei, when... <laughs> I love each other. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. There's more I need to tell you. Oh no. Ryoji-kun! Ryoji is unconscious. He appears to be exhausted. 
Let's let him rest. We have Igis to attend to as well. We'll continue our talk later. You're in shock at <laughs> what you've just heard. Yeah. Ryoji lived inside you <laughs> for 10 years. Waiting to make contact with the Twelve Shadows. And the boy named Ferros was actually Ryoji. Okay, you could have figured that one out a little earlier. Just saying. But like, like I got that. You know, we've we been there. But the whole inside us thing was a new reveal. Anyway. Huh. So many questions remain unanswered. However, Ryoji is unconscious. So you have no choice but to return to the dorm and rest. Well, there was no fight. I was so stressed out over nothing. So that's nice, I guess. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Okay. Okay. All right then. I'll see you later. Damn that Ryoji. Okay. But isn't it just somewhat beautiful that, like, Junpei made besties with us and then a version of us appeared and in like three days he was best friends with that version as well because he just like loves us the mostest ever i love junpei he's so beautiful Is everyone present? Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Down the Ryoji was sort of blue for ten years. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, there's more I have to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun? Yes. There are many questions we need answered. To begin with, you said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. Hey. Okay, yeah. Okay. Who the hell's Nyx? <laughs> Jinpei hasn't played Hades. Jeez. Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. If she is awakened, darkness will once again cover the land and all life will vanish. You mean everyone will die? All life will vanish? Then that must mean... Everyone seems to be coming to the same conclusion. Every human being will become like the lost, leading to the extinction of mankind and the end of the world. The fall. But it's still possible to keep it from happening, right? I wonder what Akutsuki saw in us. Man, I want to like play the beginning knowing what we know now and like see how Akutsuki talks to us. That would be cool. What? There's no way to prevent it? 
Anonymous, thank you so much for gifting the uh, sub to Nix, you puff. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Mm, I'm putting the facts together. I'm putting the clues. Mm. I'm sorry. Hug him! Hug him right now! Hug him right now! Hug him. Hug him. Go. Go. Swarm him. Swarm him with hugs and love right now. Right now! <gasps> oh. Oh. Wait, what are you apologizing for? Are you saying it's for certain? Yes. You heard the bell. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. My existence is the affirmation of the fall. Everyone is at a loss for words. It is inevitable. The entire human race will become members of the lost. Ryoji's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. Can we give him a hug? Just, just give him a little, just give him just a little hug. When? When will it happen? Christmas Day. I'm afraid you will not live to see spring. Oh! Uh, uh, beautiful way to put that, but also, Jesus, okay. But that's not too far away. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys freaking out about? All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. And that won't be a problem, because we've never lost. Jafay! Nyx is impossible. Oh. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die, and the flow of time is continuous, Nyx cannot be defeated. What? That's bullshit! This is all so sudden. The others are unable to hide their fear. I was born from a collection of shadows. But now I have a human form. So I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. All gifts I received because I was inside him. I think we need to come up with like a code term for that. For the future, I think. So, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's coming cannot be avoided. But it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, no, we're okay with that. I don't need peace that much. If I were to disappear, all memories of the dark hour would disappear with me. Oh my god, wait, like that? Oh! 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 Oh, that's an awful choice! Oh, so like, we wouldn't know that it was gonna happen, so then we would just like, l get lost to apathy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, the horror of that is horrendous. Oh! with any recollection of the fate that awaits you. Ryuji, just join this human. It's fine. 
You won't remember anything. We'll give you a, a vodka. I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll do it. The coming of the oh. fire will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives. And in doing so, the time until the fall will be slightly delayed. In essence, I am the same as Nyx and cannot be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's human. Man. So if death comes from his hands, I think it may be possible. No! Ryoji-kun. No. If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation, you will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. No, we won't, because I social link tend Akinari. And I know what living is for. And I I don't want you to have to endure such pain. I don't want my memories to be erased. To forget everything would be like hiding from the truth. Would that really be such a bad thing? All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. decide right now you have until December 31st New Year's Eve to think about it after that I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and become intangible Ryoji I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways so don't worry about me I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Hey, Ryoji, wait! Wait! I can't sense him anymore. Ryoji-kun's no longer here. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Ryoji-kun. We will see him again on New Year's Eve. A devastating realization. The world will soon perish. Oh, I thought we meant about Ryuji, but that too. The destiny of mankind is extinction. A difficult decision lies before you. Death is inevitable. Your prize waits for you. You cannot think clearly. How does a person choose the way he will die? Death waits for nobody, yeah. Gonna put you in the trance. Ryuji's gonna die, and it's all gonna be bad. Make sure you don't hurt nobody except Rio G. The world is ending. Woo! 
everyone's gonna be a lost soul. Blah, 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 blah. Ryuji is so counter. Whoa. Okay, I'm just gonna sink into the void. I think, yeah, I think it's time. I think I'm just gonna go like Ryuji. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. I want you all to die, and I, I want, want to, to die, die too. too. It's Ryuji, but also with the positive of this. <laughs> Thank you so much, Penguin. The game that tackled life and death with, and the absurdity and emotions of it all now has all of the party dealing with the concept of impending death and nothingness. Woohoo! Yippee! The I literally, I think the I'm sorry is like the best line read in this entire game so far. He also feels themis coded. Let's stop. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julia, for the bits. <laughs> Yippee! I take Themis and I take Kaoru and I take Ryoji and I just. I just hold them. Please stay safe, little guys. Stay safe. Rank the three Themis, Ryoji, Kaoru. They are voiced by a And Themis is a Kira Ishida! Wait! Huh? Akira Ishida plays Ryoji, Kaoru, and Themis. What are they putting in Akira Ishida? What's happening? Huh? Thank you so much, Anonymous, for giving that stuff to Ryoji. Ryoji, enjoy your last month here, my king. Uh, Mr. Indigo, thank you for the follow. Ruji's by follower, so I am I. Uh, he's definitely not the- like, they're pretty well known. Themis is like, well away the first. But, Ryuji and Kaoru are pretty close. Although, the thing is, is like, Kaoru, I think... Is a tricky one as a cat, like... He's tricky for me to compare, and I know that there's so much more of him in, um... The movies, but I've not seen the movies, so... My sleep process too. <laughs> I hold Ryuji in my pocket. I love him. Another man probably too. Thank you so much for gifting lots of to exec Shadow Sasuke for 20 exit. Thank you so much. Movies aside, oh I mean the Ava movies, not the Persona 3 movies. Um, I'm super interested in what your final thoughts on Ryuji are. Me too. It's like a sizable gap between all three for me. Interesting. It's definitely not for me. That's cool. I've never seen Naruto. Me neither. If you could see spoiler chat, you could see how polarizing Ryuji is. Uh oh, the drama. No, I remember when he came into the school and people 
were already pretty polarized on him. <laughs> I will say already, I feel like, obviously I don't know how it's gonna end up, but like the uh, end god boss feels the best of the personas so far for me. And we haven't even met her, so that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Kira Ishida is always typecast as a slutty, slutty embodiment of the apocalypse. <laughs> Me thinking about all the Ikira Ishida roles I know. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, well, how thank you so much for the 11 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Almost a whole year. Wow. Thank you so much. That whole segment was why I ranked Blue as my favorite pro tag. Having such a deep backstory is something no one else has really has gotten. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very true. I missed Ryuji Day. No, I'm sorry. Ryuji Day was beautiful. She has a build up. Yeah, that's what I. Well, I. So for me, I liked fours more than fives, which is weird because I can't remember what fours name was at all, but I preferred it than fives. Um, I preferred it to fives. Um, but then. Sorry, I'm not counting Izanami. I'm counting it as the Christmas boss. So, the one after Adachi. Izanami's like way better. Izanami's great. I love Izanami. Izanami's. Wow. Yeah, the eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an Osagiri? That sounds right. That sounds right. Uh, thank you for the follow. Um, I prefer the lead up to that one than fives, but this one is like miles better, I think. Like crazy better in terms of lead up. I keep forgetting that Eyeball even existed. I always remember Adachi and Izanami. That's very fair. Um, Izanami. I don't know how you count Persona 4, to be honest. Because I guess Izanami really is the, the big one. I don't know. P5s basically has no lead up at all, if I remember correctly. P5s is insane because it's like, oh, suddenly everyone's like dying and then they're like, oh, I'm Yadabouts, by the way. Ha ha ha, lol, 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 wrecked. Ha ha, jokes on you, lol, anyway. Holy grail, anyway. And then I'm just like, what does even any of this mean? And I didn't like it very much. Like, I like the ideas and I like the themes and I like the the stuff around it, but I don't think it's done very well. Where does Marie's fight fit? Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. She was vibing. We talked about who uh, Kira voices in Danganronpa. It's Biakia, I believe. Which... Why am I... Okay, like, can my favorite characters just, like, stop being Akira Ishida or Yuri or JYB? I, like... Give me a second. Please. <laughs> no. <laughs> Marie's boss music was rad. I loved it. It was great. 
P5 would have been so much better if Shido had discovered Yaudi and bent his powers to his will, then it would be break free from after defeating him. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. I like that. I think. I feel like P5 was supposed to be hinting at Yadabalth by having Igor act differently and have a new VA, but since it was everyone's first Persona game, nobody noticed. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I didn't know, because 5 was my first, so I was just like, yeah, that's just him! Wow, he's hooked crazy! Rue, while a good character in Hector Music and whatnot, her fight just did kind of feel like it just appeared. I don't know, that's, much, that's just me. I I don't think Marie is a very good character, personally. So, I don't know how I felt about her fight. I enjoyed the fight itself and I liked the music, um, but I never really liked Marie that much. So, I was just kind of like, yeah. We're vibing. We're doing what we're doing. Let's go! She does have a very cute hat. That's very, very true. That's very true. A dungeon would be one of the best if I actually cut a bug. <laughs> Remember the Marie boss had an absolutely sick design, great music, but I can only remember the very surface level reason of why that fight was why that fight was about. So that twist worked for me. I got it work. That's pretty cool. I knew that it was like, yeah, I was the same because people in my chat would tell me like the old VA for Igor had passed away, so I just was like, oh, this is just the new Igor voice. I guess I don't know what old Igor sounds like, so. But because I didn't know what he talks about, I was just like, eh. So That's what Nyadi in the first two weeks of Persona 5's release because Pete's talking online about the voice, whole voice, different, whole different voice actor thing. Mm, I'm sorry. Maria's maximum to Sandre, and that doesn't translate well to English. Maybe it doesn't work in Japanese either. She just comes off as mean. Yeah. I had like a whole. I remember when I was playing it and I would be like, man, she's just so mean. And then people would be like, no, she's Tassandre. And I would have like a breakdown because I'm like, but I think I like Tassandre characters, but maybe I just don't, maybe I don't think they're Tassandre or maybe I, people think they're Tassandre, but I don't think they're Tassandre. Maybe I've never known what Tassandre means. Maybe I'm just lost in a void and I don't understand anything about the concept of Tassandre. Um, but I think it's like, what level of Tassandre you're chill with, I guess. Because, like, Asuka from Ava, she's great. Felix from Fire Emblem, he's great. They're amazing. But Marie, I was just like, can she just stop being an asshole to me? Like, what the fuck? I haven't done anything. Where the fuck is the daddy? <laughs> I have a very low tolerance for types like Marie, that's fine. Asuka is great because you can see the cracks in her character and why she is the way she is. With Marie, it's just amnesia. <laughs> I forgot about- yeah, I know that's true, yeah. No, like, Asuka is such an incredible character, like, she's so complicated and deep, and the fact that she is a Tassandre is, like, simplifying her character down to, like... Not, like, just, like, the barest description of her ever, but she's, like, incredibly complicated, and there's very important reasons as to why she is the way she is, which, with Marie, I was just, like, I'm trying to help you at every moment and you're just a dick to me all the time. I don't know why I want to help you.
Really, I feel like Felix was way worse than Marie when it came to being mean, but that's just me, I suppose. Um, he wasn't for me. But I guess it also kind of depends, like, what, who you're considering that, who he's being Sunday to, if that makes sense. Where, and like, also, for me, at least, like, Felix's backstory is, like, key to him. Again, like, it's like the Oscar thing. He's a very complicated guy with a lot of stuff that's happened in his life and reasons for why he's acting the way he's acting, whereas Marie doesn't, to me. But Felix is my favorite character in Fire Emblem, so. So. I don't know. Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> To be fair, it was people. <laughs> Isn't part of the Sundry trope that there is a pretty big character growth by the end of that arc? I feel like even at the end of Marie, belly changed. I don't really remember, to be honest. Imagine Marie was I instead. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. Yeah. I is literally one of my favorite social links of Persona as a series, so I'm biased. Yo, where's Aegis? Don't worry about it. She's in the shop. <laughs> um. How oh, Shinji? Uh, he's in the shop. Shop. <laughs> She's just getting a little, little work done. Rima is so nice because she's the character of a teenage girl. Hmm. Marie's interesting. I don't know. I'm interested to see how I feel about Marie when I start editing back Persona 4. Because like I love Marie's cringe poems, I love it so much. I think it's so perfect as a teenage girl. Um, I think she's great. But then I, do, I don't, I yeah, I just remember her being really mean and me not really understanding why. And then I never felt like I really got answers to that or a character behind it. And then. I don't know. I think maybe it's when the Tessandrainess is built upon other more complex reasons it works better, like Felix, while for Marie the Tessandrainess is her entire personality. Yeah, that's true. And I guess that goes back to like the idea, uh, I don't remember who said it. Uh, like Kurizi said, like the idea of like basing it on a trope rather than a character trait, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. That's a very good conclusion of it, I think. Oof! How has this stream not even been three hours? I. What's on the TV? Apathy syndrome patient numbers have yet to decline this month. Many are questioning the abilities of the experts who predicted a date when the recovery would begin. A return to Marie Sander. I was just praising some of her, actually, but yeah, mostly yeah. I'm sorry. Everyone is going to die. What's up with that? We're trying to live our lives the best we can and it's all gonna end now? Come on, get real! Angel? I've never imagined my life ending. Feels like my insides are being torn apart. Thinking about Pharos Ryoji more brings me back to all talking to your Persona discussion. All the scenes of Pharos popping in and chatting with Blue seem really cool in that context. Yeah. He's he's so interesting to me. And like going back and like when I play P3P or when I play P3 Reload or 
I don't know how the stories are gonna work. But um, I think it will be very cool to like look at Ryoji's conversations, uh, Pharos's conversations in the context of Ryoji. Like that'll be really cool. Like even the voice actors, I like it didn't even pop into my mind. I was just like, yeah, we're, we're using voice actors because Shinji's dead and then Shinji's talking in the next scene. Like, that, that's just what we're doing. And it, it didn't even click until a fair bit through the, the scene. I feel like if you have a character who is mean but is also meant to be likable, you have to really show their likable sides when it matters. Like, yeah, I think Felix was more severe with his comments and actions, but he's also shown to have funny and likable sides as well, like with Annette. And how they were raised and their experience matters quite a, quite a lot too for how they behave, at least to me. Yeah, for sure. We had a talk in mod chat about confirming or denying the VAs. <laughs> Luckily, I... <laughs> we thought you would put it together really fast if you knew, but you went with the low budget. <laughs> But it is very funny because characters will die and then in the very next scene, they're still here. It's great. It's great. Hannah even does Mahana mode for recognizing me. <laughs> You've been an adult too long. Did, it, did people figure this out? Was I meant to have figured this out? I have no idea. Like, none. Zero. Was I meant to be theory crafting? I just was having fun. <laughs> it's like pancakes. It's like a dodge. It's fine. We're all going to die, regardless of how much we want to live. Okay. 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 Very nice Ryoji is Pharos the second I heard you. Oh yeah, I mean I know Ryoji was Pharos. I feel like that's pretty obvious. It's more like the uh if Ryoji is a part of you. You are one. MP4 the VA for a second and tag is the same too. True, true. Ah! With Ferris Ryuji it was easy. I didn't know Blue was Yuri until the end of the game because I didn't know Yuri's voice as well, so... Um. Oh, sorry. I don't feel like talking right now. Damn that Ryoji. Is he out of his mind? This is such bullshit, man. An unavoidable end. This can't be happening. I'll piss to that. Feel great. <laughs> Do I? Do I feel great? Do I feel great? I don't know, actually. Have any of them mentioned? I guess no. Well, I assume that's because I like she's just gonna be fine. Like I don't know. Well, because they haven't really talked about it. I'm just like, yeah, she's just gonna be fixed. It's it's, it's gonna be fine. But they have just found out that they are going to die, so I will give them pretty big parts. Great piss. I'm all pissed out. 
Thank you so much for the bits. Aw, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. I'm glad I can prove any day for you. Oh no! Are you are you out of the piss running? I'm so sorry. You had a great you had a great run. Poor Blue getting literally death sealed inside him mere minutes after he managed to crawl out of the car crash. His parents just died. And I. That's kind of interesting. I don't think the game is going to get into it, but I feel like you could, or someone who is a better writer than me, could get into really interesting ideas about survivor's guilt with that. And like the idea of death sealing himself inside of Blue and the fact that his parents just passed away and like how he carries that death with him all the time. I feel like you could, you could, uh, you could do really interesting things with that. Hello, I'm sure I missed nothing significant. <laughs> you know, just chill for me. It's definitely meat on that bone. Meat on the bone. This is for all the pissers who fell out of the rain. <laughs> it's for all the pissers. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sucrose. Thank you for the six months. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sucrose. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for half a year. Groovy. <laughs> yeah, I'm groovy. I'd love to know my fortune. Death. Very well. A girl falls under the full moon. A boy walks amid shadow, and the boy himself is shadow. A child who bears shadow within. This isn't the fortune! This is what just happened! The immense shadow approaches, its depth unfathomable, its extent without limit. It comes to end all things. The darkness hidden by the shining heavens. How will you stand against such a fate? Oh well. Okay. Cheers. Mitatsu, I need you. I need to get drunk. I bet she says that to everyone. <laughs> what a strange kid. Oh, they're late. <laughs> What's up, kid? Nutatsu's breath smells of alcohol. He must have been drinking a lot. Can I have one? Thank you for the bit. Hello, how's it going? Don't you think his <laughs> roots make so awake? Didn't dad tell you not to do that, eh? Dad? I really thought you said Mutatsu's breast. <laughs> Lord? Uh, dad? Did you just call me dad? Hey. Thank you for the 55 minutes. Hey. No! That's really sad. Mutatsu. You always call me an old bastard. <laughs> You're a nice whip, you need somebody. I thought you got into an accident or something. Man, I was coming to you for some joy, Mutatsu, and this is. Don't make me worry like that. What the hell were you doing this late? I was with a friend. A friend, huh? <gasps> it's a girl, isn't it? <sighs> like father, like son, I guess. Mitasi seemed pleased. Uh, mm. You? It seems Mitatsu is sobering up. Damn. All this time, I thought you were... I guess my eyesight's getting bad after all. Mitatsu seems worried about you. You understand Mitatsu better now. Mutatsu doesn't know! <laughs> C 
Spending all my time with clients, missing anniversaries and birthdays. I wonder if they felt the same way I did as I waited for you earlier. Who's they? My wife or my son. It's been four years since they left. I used to stay out past midnight and when I got home my wife and I would get into a big argument. Now when I go home I don't know what to do with myself so I just come here and drink every night. Are you running away? Yeah. You're absolutely right. I shaved my head but it's only for show. Mutatsu is laughing sheepishly. I get drunk to avoid facing my problems, so... Yeah, I guess you could say I'm running away. She hasn't called me or sent me a letter since then. She must have gotten over me. Who knows where they are, or if they even want to see me. Yeah, forget it. It's too much of a hassle anyway. Alright, kid, let's get out of here. Let's go to sleep, I guess. Damn, it's just it's a bit of a rough time all around, honestly. Just kind of... You overhear a conversation? I heard some people saying that apathy syndrome is nothing to be worried about. Nothing to worry about. I heard the same thing. It puts people at ease, right? Yeah, it certainly does for me. You think it's some new religion? What are you- are you talk, taking this seriously? Uh, of course not. Oh no. It's a bit grim, isn't it? It's just a bit... <sighs> a bit rough, a bit... Eh. But to be fair... This is not nearly as emotional nor deep as when Tristan punched a boulder in Yu-Gi-Oh. So, when you look at it that way, it's not too bad. Class is ended for today. No one back on a trip over air. No. Good afternoon. When Tristan punched that boulder, I felt that, right? There's no way I can concentrate in school now, man. Ugh, let's get going. Hold my hand. It's my in-game birthday. Happy in-game birthday. I don't actually I agree with that statement. Someone should really hire the Yu-Gi-Oh writers, translators to P6. They should. Yu-Gi-Oh should be in all things. <laughs> I'm so Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, they got me. Help me. Help. Help. Yu-Gi pulled behavior. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Please. P3 Reload should just have them going like with the hat. <laughs> we must censor the guns, it's too much. I am thou and thou art I. <laughs> Mr. Ono seems to have stepped out. Mr. Takanozuka, the physics teacher, is here muttering to himself. I should get going, but there's no time to waste. If I power walk to the station, it'll take seven minutes. But if I consider the speed the train pulls into the station, three minutes might not be enough. Oh yeah, I'm in charge of dinner tonight, so that's another 12 minutes to getting groceries. I better compensate for the pressure ratio when mashing potatoes to avoid inef- 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 efficiency. If an, av if an average potato's diameter is about 12 centimeters, and that comes out to- Oh, forget it. Going home isn't worth the bother. I'm staying at school. Oh, it's you, Blue. Do you want to stay the night at school too? <laughs> You're looking for Mr. Ono? Well, now that you mention it, I haven't seen that helmet lately. I mean, that teacher. <laughs> that 
don't have <laughs> I don't have time to fritter away looking for him, so try again later. You know that helm of his really is a nice piece. I'd never say so to Mr. Ono's face, because I'd never hear the end of it, but it's fine craftsmanship. The curved line at the top. It's an ideal arc for absorbing impact. An arc like that can absorb about 48% of the impact from above. Then there's the material. It's not just a thick chunk of metal. It's extremely thin metal, in fact. Layered with finely braided hemp fat added practicality. Right. So that explains that, see? Isn't it a wonderful specimen? Well, it's origin. I wouldn't know anything about that. Archaeological details don't interest me. This is the longest request of all time. Oh my god, just go over there and kiss Mona already! Another pair of teachers to ship? Let's go. So this place is not safe at night. <laughs> Please do not stay here overnight. It would be so unsafe for you, sir. Why? Don't ask me. Wow, are we not able to hang out with Mitsuru? Is it because she's like dealing with the concert, the, the looming death that awaits her? Bit dramatic, but I guess. Is case going? Thank God. Totally expecting Liz to show up in this tree. Is it time? The yak is a fine. Go on, Kaz. This is your moment. It's just gonna be a boost and it's not gonna do anything, but I'm down anyway. Hanging out with Kaz is basically Yakuza time. Oh my god, it's just a boost? That's crazy. I wonder why we need to boost with him. I thought we were such good friends. Sup, dude? Oh, you're back. My bad. Could last night just have been a dream or something? <laughs> no, probably not, huh? Jinpei's girlfriend died and then he learned his boyfriend was inside another man. <laughs> Not the best. I don't think anyone really cares about exploring Tartarus. Um, is there something you want to ask me? Can I ask you about my existence? Ten years ago, you happened to be present when Aegis, Aegis, and Ryoji-kun were fighting. I guess couldn't defeat Ryoji-kun, so she decided to seal him inside you. Hmm. What a tragic fate. Okay. What about increase in Persona users? According to Ryoji-kun, the reason was because of your existence. Same downpour. Like I was saying about uh, Junpei, I love that. Legit. I think it's really good. You came here with Ryojikun inside you, bringing us all together. As well as the shadows that had been dispersed to different locations. Wait, can you say that again? Hold on. According to Ryojikun, the reason was because of your existence. You came here with Ryojikun inside you, bringing us all together, as well as the shadow. Oh, okay. 
Okay, what about the revival of the Tall Shadows? When you moved here, Ryoji-kun began to awake, and the Twelve Shadows appeared. So if I just had never moved here... We should organise the information we already have. Is there anything you would like to know? What is happening with Igish? Well, that's what happened to Igish. After the incident, Igish was taken to the laboratory. The research is attending to her, but with the injury she sustained, it's going to take a while. Okay, but she's fine. Well. Fine. Why Igus was hostile to Ryoji? Igus lost her memories of the battle she waged with Ryoji Mochizuki ten years ago. However, I believe she still sensed that he was a shadow. An incredibly strong shadow she had fought before. Why does Ryoji look human? That is an excellent question. Ryoji Mochizuki is a shadow. The same shadow Igus sealed inside you ten years ago. Over those ten years, that shadow changed. It gained the appearance and characteristics of a human being. And that is why it gave us a choice. Sorry, I don't know why she went robotic, but it gets us all. Um, cereal and milk, thank you for the folly. Welcome. Funny thing is, Blue is crazy as hell. A teleporting child comes to you at night, sometimes, and you don't tell anyone. You don't even question it. Sometimes things happen. And you just embrace it. Everyone just needs some time. We're all confused, and we need to make sense of what happened. Can we avoid the fall? He said it's impossible. Nyx is death itself, so we can't avoid it. Or defeat it. What if we let Ryoji live? If we let Ryoji can live, we'll have to face Nyx. And he said that Nyx is undefeatable. So then... How can we win? With the power of friendship. What if we kill Ryuji? The coming of the fool may be delayed by a little, but our memories related to the Dark Owl will disappear. It may be the easiest way, but I don't think I can do it. What can we do? I don't know. But I won't run away. Oh, she's great. She's so good. All of our doormates have turned into Q and A's. <laughs> oh no! That were Lord dumps. Ken, which Lord do you wish to give me? I was hoping this was all just a bad dream. I remember the other time I wished everything was a dream. Ken. Ugh. Oh my god, Ken doesn't have any questions. He's too depressed. Stupid Ryoji. Saying the world is gonna end out of nowhere. The appraiser? What the hell does that mean anyway? But what if he's like appraising whether we are worthy of the fool? As in like, what if he ha what if what if Ryoji has to appraise if like because like Akutsuki was like, we need to restart. We need to just like <laughs> and do it again. And what if Ryoji apprises the world and then he goes, hi, mom, Nyx, whatever you want to be called. Um, I, I think I actually kind of do want to live pretty passionately. And then Nyx is like, OK, I'll go. And then we just solve it like that. Poji, if you will. <laughs> it's time to turn the tables, Tupay. I mean, Jimpe. You can very much be learned behavior to not question the weird stuff around him. Ooh, that's very interesting, actually. That's pretty cool. 
I don't know how that works because I assume the evoker I don't know it's also interesting considering his persona What if Ryuji and Blue break dance together and Nyx is like, yeah, okay, humanity loves to laugh. It's like a, it's a rhythm game, but if you mess up the rhythm, then Nyx is like, no, life should be over. Ah. We have to stay calm. If we panic, we won't be able to make the right choice. We have to think about what's going on. Who's Nyx? According to Ryoji, it was Nyx who brought death to this planet. Nyx will turn every human being into a member of the Lost. And we will die. Thanks, Aki. The Shadow's purpose. The Shadows are pieces of Nyx. And their sole reason of existence is to revive her. Cool. Back for more of the Ryuji Jinpei stuff. But what if Jinpei grew so close to him to fill the hole she'd already left in his heart? Granted, they were friends before she dies, but she was also pushing away at that time. That's true. That's very true. I love Jinpei. I love him so much. Oh yeah, that's true, because Blue didn't even like realize what was going on, right? When he first showed up and he was just like, wow, I'm having a good time. Why do you have a gun? <laughs> the appraiser is someone who summons Nyx. The appearance of the appraiser is a sign that the fall is near, and all humans will become members of the lost. I guess everything that's happening right now is just the beginning. a fun new recording that would be nice right Ooh. I miss Akutsuki you know he was bad and all but he brought levity to the team <laughs> and we're sorely missing that my god he would just be like I'm going up the stairs now to my office. I hope I don't fall. <laughs> Capricorn's lucky. Oh, Capricorns, this is your time. Capricorn's lucky color right now is light blue. To ward off apathy syndrome, try waving goodbye to the setting sun. There you go. Hi, Nero. Sorry for caps, no. Caps more. More. Ah! <laughs> to the sun, oh man. Oh man. Man, I was just like, I haven't talked to Eggy. And then I realized, what's this? Is this always here? What's this? It is, but I hope it's like Straga propaganda. <laughs> Join Straga today. We have one new position. I make myself sad sometimes. I. Straga. What? What? Blue, why do you have no reaction? Just like read one of them. Just one. Like, just. Okay. Okay. Can I talk to Liz? Liz? Can you bring me some words of comfort in this trying time? Yay! 
how may I help you? How may I help you today? Just so I just want to talk. Okay. Got anything new for me? I'd like to visit your room. I can't wait to explore your world further. I'd like to see what your room looks like after school. Uh huh. Okay. Yukari may kill you, but that's just something you're gonna have to deal with. <laughs> Didn't you reverse like half the girls? I've reversed two girls, thank you very much. And it's not because I did anything wrong, it's because I didn't do anything at all. So... Wow, it sure is messy here. Anyways... Why stop it to you? Why not reverse everyone? <laughs> hey, at least you haven't reversed any of the boys. <laughs> Wait, that's actually possible? Wait. I thought you were kidding because I can't have male friendships with my team members, but... How has Kaz not been reversed then? Wow, he's... Damn. He's patient, that's... Wow. I kind of wish I hadn't talked to him now. Just to see. Right? Gourmet King, we lit. No, there's no way. I guess it would have to be like an in game you, like, you talk to them and mess up. There's no way they can get bored of you. I refuse. It's been a whole year almost. I think you would have to mess up in like how you talk to them. Uh, yeah, sure. No! Sorry, Mutatsu. Wait, leave. Ha ha ha! Oh, my Mutatsu. I'm back. Kaz has a crush on Blue. So does everyone. I'm like that cool. Oh, it's you. Hi. You feel your friendship is growing stronger as so you spend time with me, Tatsu. You're feeling sleepy. I don't pick the rude options, so... I try my best. I try my best. <sighs> You overhear a conversation. Did you hear about Ryoji in class 2F? No, I didn't. What happened to him? His parents got transferred again, so he won't be around anymore. So that's why I didn't see him. Well, that was sudden. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Right, Mr. Ono, it's time. I believe in you. We can do this. <laughs> Mr. Ono seems to have stepped out. Mrs. Teruchi, the Japanese teacher, is here muttering to herself. 
Odoroito? How did it get so late already? My darling is not home today and I'm so samish samishy. Hmm, maybe I should go to dinner with Miss Toriyumi. I wouldn't. That restaurant with the interesting game. What was it? A mahjong parlor? I hope I don't lose again, but I don't think I can win at all against Miss Toriyumi. Kanichi Wablu san, how are you? Miss Toriyumi isn't here. I was actually just looking for her myself. Say, Blue san, do you play mahjong? Oh, uh, it's very omishori. The technical terms in particular are so interesting. If I play too much, I can't get them out of my head for days. Pentan pin dora dora. Richie! I know what that means! No, I don't know what it means, but I know that it's mahjong. Ipatsu chi poitsu tsumo. I know that one too. I've played Yakuza. I've said that stuff even in my sleep. My poor darling hasn't uh, slept very well as a result. Shall I teach you other technical terms? I'm just repeating what Miss Toriyumi taught me, but... Oh, well, for beginners, there's only Ruchi. Then a few intermediate phrases. I got a reversed aura. Looks like you're waiting for one tile, or you've got to have more than two Han. Ooh, or advanced stuff. You have a hand, don't you? I have all the tiles you're waiting for, and... Mangan Buya. So far, I've only had the chance to use the beginner's phrases, though. But Miss Toriyumi is a very patient teacher. She'll tell me you should throw this one away. Miss Toriyumi, you are... You are... You won't get any points if you call that one, so I wouldn't. And I dropped that tile by accident, so you can't run it. <laughs> She's taught me so much, but I haven't been able to win a single match. You should see what Miss Toriyumi says about you online. Just saying. Hi Zaid, how you doing? The teacher actually seems kind of sane. True. True. One of the few sane ones. I have no idea what's even happening with the teachers. So basically, Miss Toriyumi is Maya, who is a person that we play an MMO with on the weekends, naturally. Um, and she bitches about the other teachers at the school to us, because I don't think she knows who we are. And so she says some very, very, very mean things She's she's calling people skanks. She's out here just bitching away. She's a hostile creature. So that's one of the teachers that she bitches about. And then that teacher is like, oh, she's so lovely. So it's a lot. It's a lot. She's right on about Mr. Okoda, but that's about it. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. I really hope it doesn't... If they change Maya, I'll be devastated. Maya's amazing. Please do not change Maya. Ah, oh, the trees look so cool. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to the sweet shop. Nice! I gave up trying to learn about the observatory. Actually, I learned that there's nothing to learn about it. I just can't believe that the school would build that thing. I mean, why build it if no one's going to use it? Persona 3 is a period piece. <laughs> Lamonade ruffle copter. I wonder if I'm... Oh, excuse me, jeez. Um, I've been sleeping so badly this week. I wonder if he has new stuff. ASL. New things, nice. Okay. 284. Whoa. Cherry 
cherry blossoms. Aww. Fairies? Oh my gosh. Why is this policeman selling child weapons? Um, yeah. He's just kind of cool. He's a real one. Don't worry about it. A friend of mine just died. He always wanted to become an astronaut. He said to me, even when I die, I'll always watch out for you. I'll remember him every time I look up at the night sky. In my heart, he's a great astronaut. This old man has said nothing but really weird and deranged stuff this entire game and now he just comes out with something really rather beautiful and lovely? Okay. Man, I hope Straker are doing well. Are they? Speaking of deranged. Huh. I guess it could be like an N Y X. Sure. I heard the Gecko Can class trip was the other day. School life. I get a little jealous. Puts me in the mood to watch those teeny bopper love fix. Mets. I love the Mets. It's the Mets. Whatever happened to that genre of movies? I didn't know that. I hope they still make them. Ouch, it still hurts. You all right? Thanks for your concern. You're a nice guy, unlike the kids I saw earlier. Oh, what happened? I was a little tipsy yesterday at midnight and I ended up at the gang spot. I thought kids were too cool to steal from middle-aged men now, but they beat me up until I could barely talk anymore. What kind of society is so vicious to its weaker element? I feel like I've lost the will to live. Well, that's a bad sign. Even worse, the beating up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Joey Wheeler came around to advertise the match. Hey, I'm Joey Wheeler and I love Julie the match. Hey. Yeah, I know what he means. You can't go anywhere without uh, these days without seeing those weird flyers. What's up with that shit? It doesn't look like any rival gang sign I know, but... Do you think that stuff's been kind of messed up these days, dude? Like that apathy thing. It just keeps getting worse and worse. At least someone's mentioning the flyers. <laughs> At least they live the cat alone, true. Maybe the cat's organizing it all. You ever think about that? I accidentally fell asleep in class, but the teacher didn't get mad at me at all. At all. So why'd he get so upset when I ditched sports day practice that time? I don't get it. Flyers, what fly? No, not again. My daughter was arrested. They said she was ditching school to go shopping. I was so tired from my late shifts that I had to beg my wife to go get her instead. I wish they could understand what I'm going through and let me sleep at home. Okay! My mum is saying all this weird stuff. Something about the end. Or the deliverance. Or something. I don't understand adults. Your mum is saying that? Would you describe your mum as a maternal figure? Probably. Does she have like a vibe? 
to her. It's a little scary. It's getting cold. I can just go inside, but I wonder about him. I heard there's a lot of warm places around here, but is he really going to be okay? I hope your mom lets you have him. Like, let him take the cat! The cat loves him! He loves the cat! Please! Let me read the posters. I hope when I go back to the dorm that they're like, Huh, have you guys seen these posters? They say... Would you describe your mom as a man who has long hair and is really skinny and walks around shallow? <laughs> what about a frog? Would you describe your mom as a frog? <laughs> What's up, Blue? Let's grab some chow. Yes. Let's go to restaurant. I love restaurant. The food at restaurant is so delicious. Wow, thanks for going to restaurant with me. I had a great time at restaurant. The menu at restaurant is full of items. Oh, it's you. Crime boy. Never mind. There's no point in asking someone else. Are you scared? No, I'm not really scared. I just can't seem to comprehend all that has happened. I thought I would grow stronger after my father died, but I haven't. You have! You you have! You've done so good! No, oh, Mitsuwu! You're doing amazing! No! Akutsuki and my grandfather both accepted the fall as the rightful fate of the world. They didn't believe the world was worth saving. What destroyed their hope for the future? What happened to the Nanjo group, you know? That was brought up and then we never heard about it again. And I'm just... I wanted to hear Natsuki-chan. I'm getting bad vibes. No. I wanted to hear Natsuki-chan's voice, so I called her. She seemed to know there was something wrong. Okay, that's, I thought she had apathy syndrome. But I just couldn't tell her that the world is going to end soon. What should I do? Oh. Everything Ryuji was saying. It's probably all because of my dad, huh? I'm gonna fight against the fall just like my dad did. Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna talk about Shinji or your mom? I remember the other time. So it's technically Shinji. Stupid Ryoji. Oh. Huh. Thinking about it isn't gonna change anything. I'm gonna do some training. That's all I can do. Okay. Have we considered that Fukuru is the sweetest bean? We have. She is the most sweet bean ever. I love her so much. You feel great. You know, if death's been inside me all along, then why be scared? <sighs> great condition. <laughs> At least one person blue feels great. King of repression and charging straight through. If I don't think, then I don't have to be sad. Hello? Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so yawny. I just have slept so poorly. And I think it's catching up. Today's exchange rate. 
The yen is now 115.6 to the dollar. A 0.13 change from last time. The spread of apathy syndrome is affecting the economy of the... Chromo is tilting his head. He's not in the mood for a walk. Why is everyone sad? Just like, stop that, lol. Guys, I really hate to say it, but I really feel like you're trauma dumping on me recently. And like, as a friend, I feel like you should kind of like see what I'm at before. And if I'm like emotionally ready to hear your woes. Um, so if you guys can just be a little bit more considerate. Oh, I hate to be a bother, but. Okay, you could trust <laughs> the two best characters. What do they do? They punch? True. But actually, you say Akihiko would 100% have tried to punch the boulder, I feel. Now that it's winter, I bet people are thinking of Christmas. But I bet it's no sweat for you. How many dates have you got lined up? Dude, check out my arm. Whenever I feel something off, I get goosebumps. I get them when I'm just walking down the street. Isn't this town weird, man? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little weird. I assume you're gonna just tell me about my inevitable death. Yeah. Man is an empath, or maybe just cold. <laughs> it's one or the other. Damn, I love boosting social links, man. It's like so cool. I love sleeping. Wow. I'm just gonna get a restful of full eight hours of snoozing tonight. Woohoo. Little Hongshu me me me. <laughs> oh my god, Sunday, my favorite day. I get to hang out with Maya. There's no school today. Yippee. <laughs> <laughs> you turn on the TV. <laughs> Brand bag. Chew it now. Okay, okay. It's okay. Do do do. Life is good. <laughs> Life is pretty good. Do, 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 do. Hello, you. Oh my god. Hi, ladies. How are you doing? I wonder what Ryuji Kun is doing right now. He seemed the most upset about the world coming to an end. Worrying about him won't change anything, though. Uh. Right. He doesn't look forward to the fall, either. I'm sure he wants the same thing we do. Oh! I was like, where the hell is your leg gone? It's like through the seat. I just got a report from the laboratory. Apparently, I guess can be repaired. But they don't know exactly how long it will take. I see. She was seriously damaged, so I'm relieved to hear that. Yeah, I hope she can come back soon. Yay! The camera through his life. I want a mod for Bold Escape 3 that replaces Raphael with Tanaka. Same. The fact that Ryuji is the most upset absolutely devastates me. It's very sad because it's like, I don't even know how to like phrase it. Um, he, he never had a choice in any of this. Like he never had a chance. Wow, he's so, he, I love characters who are very up my street, wow. Um, he never got to control his own fate or who he was or anything and then he was lucky enough to forget that. He didn't even know that about himself and he got some weeks of being free only for that to 
go away and for him to know that he was bringing about the end of the world after he just built these relationships with people. Man, it makes me so sad! Doomed by the narrative characters, they're my favourite and they make me miserable. I'm just replying the line, he's special because he was born in my head again and again and again and I'm just like, ah. I was thinking about what Strega said. It reminds me a little of what Ryoji-kun was talking about. So they must have known something about the fool. It gives me a baffling feeling- uh, a baffling- <laughs> It gives me a bad feeling. I'm baffled, quite frankly. A change in character ranking Camille, quoi. Two. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. Thank you. Um, actually, I wonder where Ryoji is right now. Child of Ferris or Ryoji? You know, I don't know. True. Okay, I'm done. Okay. We're moving you up. Ooh. Oh, Chidori or Ryuji is hot. That's hard. Um, I think they're very on the same level, so I'm gonna put Ryoji lower for now because he has the ability to go up. I guess definitely goes up. Um, I guess going big up. Uka's going up as well. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna move Jin and Natsuki up above Maiko as well. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with this. The fact that Akinari is so high is so impressive. He's amazing. I think Akinari is amazing. And I think like, I can't imagine playing this game without her finishing, without have, having finished his social link. Like, he feels vital to this entire plot point. Like, Blue having talked to Akinari, who knew he was going to die, is like... everything to this idea of what they're currently going through. Best social link in the whole series. I see it. I see it. Who is Mapkun again? Uh, Mapkun is the boy who stands in our classroom every single day and is literally just a map, and that's all he does. He's our strongest soldier. <laughs> Flashback to Hannah saying, I hope this was worth the effort. <laughs> he takes so much to unlock, but he is so worth it. He is the most worth it. My god. It gives me a bad feeling though. It feels like we're being laughed at. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do about that. Let's just concentrate on Nyx for now. Okay, I'm gonna go check if there's any recordings of any silly fun activities because 
It's all I have, really. Great! Cool. Did I miss any list things? We have unlocked the ability to go to my room with her. Which we are probably going to do tomorrow. Uh, so that will be interesting. This is so difficult. There must be something we can do. I'm sorry. Where are the boys? On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger of Featherman R, episode 42, Sleep in My Arms. Love for love's sake. But what about the battles? And nothing is. <laughs> Side note, I know with all the awfulness and horrors, it's less of a thing, but can I just say it's nice to see you creep bantering with Mitsuru like they're actually friends now. I know! They're so cute! It's so lovely that they have managed to like... Yukari forced Mitsuru to be her friend. <laughs> it's beautiful. They're very cute. You commit to kissing? Say it ain't so. Ah! Beautiful. Beautiful puppy. Da 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 da. Do we see the nighttime dialogue? I kind of want to. Let me just check if the boys are inside the room. What, where they're at. On his room. <laughs> Not his room. We need my bitch <laughs> to lighten the day. <laughs> we do, you're so right. Um. I'm going to quickly run outside and then come back in to do the nighttime dialogue and then I'll reload and we'll do Maya. You. Sorry, I was just daydreaming. I was thinking about what Shinji would say if I met him in heaven. What would he say? He probably won't say anything. He'll just punch you in the face. <laughs> He's got a strong right hook. So I'm sure it's gonna hurt. Cool. Okay, that really upset me. Hucky. Ryuji's an asshole. What the hell's wrong with him? Damn it, this isn't funny. I can't seem to calm down. This is the first time I've ever felt like this. Well. Cool. You know, all he being like, I'm never gonna feel weak again. And now he's just like doing this. And then Junpei is freaking like going through denial and just like fully grieving his own life in Ryoji already. And I just, Jesus. <sighs> I don't think they're really gonna have different dialogue, but yeah. Okay, I will reload. Hmm. 
The vibes are bleak. It's awful here. It's so bad. <laughs> Jimmy, wasn't it? Jimmy, what? The kids are not alright. It's just, it's just bad. It's all bad. All of it, in fact, is bad. Anyway, let's go hang out with Maya. I really think it's going to be a boost, but we will do it, of course. We will do anything for Maya, our queen. Our, our light in the dark. I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> the way they're all processing. It's heartbreaking. And it's so interesting to their characters how each person is dealing with it. Because actually, like... Strangely enough, I think the girls are dealing with it the best. Um, if that is like a best in this situation. Because the boys are like depressed out their mind or in denial or already accepting it. And the girls are like, okay, what is Strega doing? What is the explanation? Since you have come Honda! Yay! Linville Hospital. It's just a boost and everything sucks. I think Aki is being self reflective and thoughtful, not sad. He's seeing the positive side. Really? He's saying he's never felt like this, and he's talking about seeing Shinji in heaven. I don't know if I think he's being... I don't know. It being so individualized and how they cope is so real and amazing. Their characterization has been built up the whole game till now, and now we s now see these people we've come to know dealing with such devastating realities is heartbreaking. I completely agree. Uh, Persona 3 is so good. Morning. Things have been pretty crazy lately, huh? No one's in the mood to talk either. <laughs> you know what? Whenever I piss, I feel great. So if you just start pissing, Yukari, I think it's really going to change your life. Let's press dot dot dot. Yeah, I know how you feel. But we have to cheer up sooner or later. Oh my god, she's telling me to cheer up. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Cheer up, idiot. Uh, December already. So this is the this is the teacher that the guy ships with, Mr. Edogawa. I'm pretty sure. It's almost the end of the year. Let's not ruin our last month of the year together with laziness, okay? Why? Oh, oh, oh. I was about to be like, why are there so many empty seats? And then I realized. Well, hey, that kid that we kicked out of the entire class, he can come back, I guess. So that's nice. Um... Remember, there's an exam next week. Oh, good. So didn't you guys just have exams? Time flies. The material on the exam begins on page 160 and will include what we go over in today's lesson. Which is the definition of allotropy. Al the property of some elements to exist in two or more forms. Is this play about us? The property of some elements to exist in two or more forms that are chemically identical yet physically discrete. Get it? I hope there's at least one allotrope you guys are familiar with. Let's see if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ma, leave him alone! <laughs> Which allotrope is formed by three oxygen atoms? 
ozone, crimson, dry ice. Alan, I, what? Sorry, I'm too caught up in the sadness. We're very familiar with tropes hit. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! The man is right, who can focus on exams now? Ozone is what I would guess. I don't know. O, oxygen atoms? O? I don't know. Ooh. Wow, good job. I'm sure you'll do fine on the exam. Thank you. Every living being needs oxygen to survive. Would be a shame if that went away. And everything on the planet needs ozone too. You know how toxic UV rays have been eating away at the ozone layer, right? Yeah. Due to the environmental destruction, there's less and less ozone. I probably have nothing to worry about, but you guys might. <laughs> so watch out. Okay, thank you. You gave the correct answer. Did your teachers also talk like this? Because mine did when I was in high school. They would be so like, whenever we did stuff on climate change, they would always be like, and we don't have to worry about it, but you guys do. So you guys should start doing da 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 da. Your time's increased. Thank you. So charming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> so many things happen, true. Here, have some really existential dread too. Ha 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 ha. I'm already in the dark. I slept in class so I wouldn't know honestly. Are you blue? Miso soup. Be real with me right now. I haven't been to high school in like 20 years and they were doing it in my age group then. You got me. This is nice. Should we go hang out with Elizabeth? Oh, we have to do the teacher first and then we can go hang out with Liz. Isn't that just typical boomer talk? Depends who the boomer is. I think we all become boomers eventually. And then maybe we'll talk like that one day too. I fell asleep sitting up in class once and woke up when my head fell forward onto the- <gasps> No! Did that hurt? I'm so sorry. I fell asleep in class definitely one time, but I was pretty young. Um, it was math class and I remember it so vividly. Because my pencil case had like broken, so I had this like Tupperware box and I like literally like lent my head on the Tupperware box with like my arms like this and I just fell asleep. And I have no clue how I wasn't like, like no, like the teacher didn't notice. Or maybe they did and they were just like, yeah, I guess she needs it. But I, I just, yeah, great nap. I fell asleep once and then the, had the teacher ask me a question. This is definitely our generation. There have been times I tried to fall asleep in class. My teachers allow me to sleep as long as I finish my work first. I guess that makes sense. I don't, yeah, why not? No! <laughs> oh no, you're so just nice! Mr. Ono is in the faculty office. Sup, how's it going? Ah, Blue, I've been waiting for you. Okay, not really. I looked and looked, but there's nothing at my house that's not related to Masamune. This didn't belong to Masamune personally, but it still has ties to him, so... Is he gonna give me it, finally? Do you really need this? Maybe you've... reconsidered. Not that I'm reluctant at all to give it to you, you understand? So... I'll give it to you, but... 
But... <laughs> you'll take good care of it, right? It'll become a family heirloom, right? You must be proud, Blue. You've got a family heirloom now. Yeah. I guess this is how it should be. Well, I've still got a few of those left at home. This is the second time I've given my helm to a student, after all. That Bebe. I was gonna say! Like, in the first week of class! That Bebe. Do you know him? He's an exchange student in my class. Back in the spring when he first came- Yeah! Yeah! Like, when we first came here, they were talking in the hallway! Back in the spring when he first came here, he admired it so much that I let him have it. It does my heart good to see men with the samurai spirit, even those from a foreign country. It must be because the lives of the Sengoku generals still shine brightly across history. Masamune Date, for example, the amazing thing about him is that he... Do you think if Mr. Ono met Yusuke, he would just, like, ascend? Date? No. No! 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 He'd adopt him. Aww. Both were century. <laughs> right. Let's go give Liz this helm and then give uh, Liz a tour of our room. Yaksa mention. Yaksa 5 confirmed. I've never completed the helmet quest. It took a long time. It took a long time, but we did it. We've grown as a person. Oh, oh, hello. It happened again. I got warned by the boss just for gathering info. I was out looking for, I was out looking into Mr. Carrijo and Mr. Rakutsky's relationship and the boss called me off. I asked him why, and he and all he gave me was the usual bull about not complaining. But this pattern, it's similar to the Gekkoken student incidents. There's something else behind all this, I'm sure of it. Hello! Hold on, let me do the request and then we can go on a date. <laughs> you seem to have completed a request. I see. So this is it. The helm from the ancient Sengoku era. Its heft, its feel, and the character love on the brow. Does that mean to protect the head? Or was it love for the helm? Mysteries upon mysteries. Still, it is a wonderful helm. This satisfies my request. Why don't you take the helm with you? I think it suits you better than it does me. Sure, thanks. Woo! Okay. Uh, now, would you like to go to my bedroom? Ah, uh, I've been expecting you. Shall we be on our way? So who is the CEO of a multi-billion company? Who's a mad scientist trying to end the world? So, this is the student dormitory where you spend your days? Yes. Do you like it? It's a bit of a mess right now. Don't worry about it. You showed Elizabeth to your room. Is this legal? Mitsuru's gonna get mad at us. So, this is your room. I've never seen many of these things before. I really, really hope that she says, why do you have a whole dresser with drawers behind the bed so you can't open any of the drawers? Why is that a design choice that was made here? I must know. I don't think she's that impressed. Unless? Regarding my request to visit your room. I don't know that she knows what a drawer is. 
Okay, you've got me that. <laughs> well, did it make you a little suspicious? Mm. Sure, yeah, a little. Yeah? No? I don't really know. You're just bizarre as a creature, so I just go along with it, whatever you say. Don't let her see Tanaka on the TV, true. I'm suspicious now. In truth, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Okay. Elizabeth seems unusually hesitant. You decided to listen to Elizabeth's story. Aww. Why does it always look like there's a body? into your world, I encountered many things. Why does it always look like that there's a body in my bed? Yeah, no? Blue has a body pillow. That's Ryoji. <laughs> Ryoji just peeks his head out of the bed. Hello! All of them are treasured memories. Each one a polished glittering gem. Uh -huh. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even attending your school for a day. That's when I came to a realization. I had subconsciously been requesting to visit places that were more and more central to your life. And so today, I requested to visit the one place in your world that I could learn the most about you. You know, in a way, this is kind of sad because we have not decorated our room even slightly. Like, everyone else has these beautiful rooms that is so full of their personality and we just have this. I just sleep here, you know? And I play video games. If I may be so bold. Yeah. Elizabeth clasped your hand. Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? Yeah. Oh, sorry. How I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you. Yeah. Doesn't ring a bell. I remember. It was the first time I ever felt that way. Because we're just such good friends. After coming here, I can finally answer that question. I believe it's because I could feel what you feel and truly experience your life for the first time. Okay, hey, that's very nice. That's very sweet. We who reside in the velvet room. Wait with great anticipation for guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason to be. Wait, this is so cute! Why is Liz just the best velvet room attendant by like a. Ah! By touching you like this, I can have that all for myself. I don't really get. I think I see. I'll put it more plainly. No, I get it. Liz, no. No, I like what it is right now. Don't I'm scared. No, Liz, just I like it how it is. Oh god. I'm naive to the ways okay. of your world. And there must have been many times I seem to act quite strangely. No, you're perfect. Exactly how you are. Don't don't change. However, 
Even I am not blind to the significance of calling upon a gentleman in his own room. Liz, do you ever feel, do you ever think about how like once you scramble an egg, you can't unscramble it and then it's just scrambled forever and then you can never ever go back to the way that it was before and then it'll never change and then you can never go back and then everything's different and then you have to change you know, how you think about the egg because it's not an egg anymore, it's scrambled and it's a scrambled egg and it's not unscrambled, it's scrambled and you can't ever go back to the unscrambled egg. Elizabeth, you know? Elizabeth, the egg! Think about the egg! I'd like you to guide me through. Through what? Scrambling eggs? Or something else? <laughs> That's great, Liz. I'm gonna just. Woohoo! You know? Because I think it's. I don't know what I decline to, but I just don't think I want to know. So it, we're just going to live in pure delusional, naive bliss. <laughs> I will refrain from asking any further. I'm sorry. I'm scared. I'm so afraid. You spend time alone with Elizabeth. completely different person than the Elizabeth who first stepped into your world. <sighs> no, why? What do you mean, why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? <laughs> Is that? Okay, you can tell me. Is it, is that romance? Is that, is that, is it, are we, is that, mwah? Was that what that was? It's Sims Woohoo. Why? It's more than moi. I think it's implied that the eggs are very much scrambled. Liz Fox, not me. Not, 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 not for minor. No. 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 Anyway, Liz, this has been great. <laughs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. He taught her how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. <gasps> wow. That's beautiful. you at a severe disadvantage, wouldn't it? That is why I'll draw a line under my visits here and Aww. remain on my side from now on. No! I love hanging out with you though! Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. Mm. I'm very grateful. Mm. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. I'm heartbroken too, but not over the gross stuff. I'm over. I'm sad over her role as a velvet room attendant. I appreciate Liz's respect for cons consent. Me too. Me too. I always thought this was the same age as Blue. Not that I have any stakes in this. I didn't say yes either. Maybe she is? I... She doesn't act like a teenager to me. She acts... I don't know. She comes across as very adult to me. I don't know. I don't know. She feels like an adult to me. Yeah. 
Ow. I think Elizabeth is at least 7,000. Yeah, me too. Me too. I don't know. I think I thought of her as the same age as like Margaret. And I think Margaret is an adult. And I think Elizabeth's an adult. I thought they were all adult. She feels adult, but in a timeless way. She's classic, you know? <laughs> you know? Thank you so much for showing me your room about what happened. Let's not. Excuse me, I suddenly remembered. Please, keep what happened in your room a secret from my master. I Let's just move on from this. I have something truly special for you. Thank you. A bird-like persona that glides over the battlefield. Higher and higher it rises. It too is part of you. While I can only gaze at it from below. See, like, this stuff is, like, beautiful! Like, I, like, Liz is my favorite Velvet Room attendant. Like, I've never quite understood the attendants in this manner. And it's, like, I love how it's done. It's... It's very, it's very special. It puts the Velvet Room attendants in a whole different light for me. This will be the last of my requests to explore your world. Thank you very much for everything you've done for me. Please accept your reward. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she gave me a rainbow. Is there anything else? Uh, let me see what other rewards you have. Ooh. My A button keeps getting stuck. I, I mean X, I mean... <clears throat> a? <laughs> I think of it as sad, like Blue is the only person that Liz can ever have a connection to, so maybe she makes some things up that she's had of our relationship. I can definitely see it in that way. Yeah. And I can completely get it being sad of like, because the Velvet Room attendants change per person and per game, I think it can lead you to think about what happens to them. And that can be a very like sad idea of like, they can only live through this other person. So what happens when the story is done? It, yeah, no, I can, I can really definitely see it like that. They just fucking die! They're just out of here! Um, I don't feel like she acts like an adult at all, but I think that's probably just different points of view. I thought her character model was smaller than the adults in the game as well, but it's not like that confirms or denies anything. I guess we'll never know. Yeah, I think it's just like... Whatever... Whatever your, like, comfortability is, to be honest, with this one. Like, I... I never... For a second thought she was my age. But then, like... That can happen with other characters too, like... Morgana, I always thought of as more adult, uh, and others don't. I think it's it's just what you kind of view her as, I guess. Um, do -do 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 Some people think of Morgana as a kid, which has always seemed weird to me. Yeah, I a lot of people do, and like it's totally chill if you if people do. I I I get it. I never saw him as a kid. Um But that's just my interpretation, you know. I love fanfics where the velvet siblings just faffing about. I need to find these when I'm done with three, I guess. Um because that sounds incredible. I would never remember this as blue. Boom, boom, boom. 
Right. We still have the whole day ahead of us. Holy moly. I also had a hack canon that attendants form around the guests. So like Joker created the twins, Lavenza, you created Margaret. The attendant is created in the shape of what the guest needs the most. Ooh. Ooh. I enjoy that very much. Partly because Silent Hill is in my brain and won't leave me, and I love the idea of like these other wildly beings being formed in ways that your subconscious makes them, you know? Um, that's really cool. I think, I don't know how I will feel, like, I love that idea. But I think because I know nothing really about Margaret or the twins or Lavenza, I'm like, I wonder what that does say about them. Margaret, I can feel a little bit, like I can feel that out a bit more and like kind of figure out what that could mean for Blue, but, hmm. That's what I was thinking. That was the that was the first thing that popped in my mind. Boots was like, I could see it as Joker wanting a family, and that producing him two, two, two little sisters. Um, and even the idea that like his family has been split and then it becomes whole. Honestly. Joker just needs a Nanako. He got two Nanakos and Futaba. He got so many sisters. Oh my god. He gained a whole family. You right. Ooh, good shout. Thank you. Yeah, that apathy thing. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Joker would seem like a neglected Chan. I mean, yeah, you can definitely infer a lot from, like, Joker, uh, even the fact that they send Joker away to Tokyo. And, like, maybe he's an only child, he isn't close with his parents, and then his parents, like, push him away, and then he wants family so bad that the twins manifest as little sisters. But like they're fractured because his family life is fractured and then when he finds himself and we get further into the story it becomes whole because he's become oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. i see it i do see it margaret i have no idea though man i Okay. Maybe Joker hates authority, so the attendance manifests the little kid. I mean, he definitely hates authority. So yeah, I can see that too. Blue needs a friend. His arc is much more about finding companionship and friendship over family, which is why we I've always seen Elizabeth as closer to Blue. It's mm. Who is the waifu in this game? Junpei. Maybe you just like Stormonary Woman. <laughs> sure. Kaz? True. Hey Blue, I want to talk to you about something. Yeah. Oh no. Mamoru, what's happened now? Mamoru's life is so eventful and bad. Do you mind if we go somewhere where we can talk in private? Shinji is so male wife. He's amazing. Oh no. How about restaurant? <laughs> Thanks for coming down here. 
You, I think unhinged women are funny. That tracks. Sure. What happened? Well, I just wanted somewhere quiet to talk with you. Memory seems apologetic. I just left from the hospital. I still have to pick my sister up from preschool, do go shopping, cook dinner, do the laundry. I've got so much I have to do. Blue! I will... Yeah, that's tough. It sure is, but I can handle it. Memory seems spirited. This is the kind of stuff mum had to do every single day. Ooh, Memory seems distant. I'm gonna have to skip out on the swim team. I just don't have the time. Even with the scholarship, I don't think we can afford college. I mean, what about living expenses? My family can't even pay their own. I mean, the world's gonna end in 24 days, so like, that's nice. Just like dad, now mom can't earn any money either. I'm gonna have to support them. I don't have any choice but to give up on swim team. Damn, I wish dad was still alive. You can't do much about it. We'll do something about it. We'll do something about it. I thought that was we'll do something about it. And I was like, wow, that's such a nice comforting option. Never mind. Well, do something about it. You gotta sort out that cough, you know? You can't do much about it. I I don't really like either of these. <laughs> Necromancy, that's the that's the only option. Do you, do you think I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, but still. I wanted to challenge you one last time. Amaru seems regretful. I enjoyed swim team because I got to compete with people. Is it really gonna end like this? Don't give up! You're right. I've come too far to give up now. I see Hannah still has Silent Hill 2 on the brain. It's not leaving me. It's not leaving me alone. Memory seems in good spirits. Memory is pondering something. I'm gonna take part in the meet. I devoted a lot of my life to swim team. I'm gonna take all that experience, apply what I learned and achieve victory. I'm glad we could talk. I feel a lot better about things now. Thanks to you, I have a goal to aim for. Thanks, man. You've helped Mamaru figure things out. Your relationship is stronger now. Wow! That was very cute. You know what my favorite part of that social link was? I... I feel like there's a point in at least, like, most familial... Like, a, a lot of familial relationships. Um... Like, family to child relationships. Where you as the child realize how much work your parents obviously this is not for everyone but um you realize how much work your parents do or like you realize how they have to provide for you and like what that really means and the stress that that entails or you just realize like i look back as myself as a kid and how like grouchy and mean i was sometimes and i'm like oh your mom is so nice. Why do you do that? Why did you do that? And it's like, you were just growing up. It wasn't your fault. But also, my mom's the best person in the world. How could I do this? <sighs> I have a soft spot for all the mama boys, so she's like, yeah, they're very beautiful. I'm going on this vacation spot in the USA called Quiet Hills or something. <laughs> Oops, don't want to keep my sister waiting. See ya. Bye bye. Boom, boom, boom. Hi, how was your day? Fuka? Fuka's thriving. <laughs> I was ready for the most depressing statement of all time, but Fuka? 
She got me. If no one's got me, Fuka's got me. Fuka, no. Fuka, no. Fuka, no. Um. Try to cheer up. Fuka's got me. I'm not down. Oh, you're welcome. Sorry. I guess I'm the one who's the most confused. I don't know what just happened. Okay. I know, the implications are awful. It's actually very interesting, because obviously all of the people, all of our dorm mates are going through it. But we're just simply pissing and feeling great. And I'm like, is that because death has been literally a part of us for so long? Like, I'm a, yeah, oh, it's, it, we're entering dark, dark, dark times. But like the way that Blue freaking shoots himself, he plays and taunts with death and death has literally been part of him. I, you know, it's not good. It's not good. Thank you so much. Sorry, a lot to muted when um, Elizabeth was being Elizabeth. Or if he, thank you so much for gifting that sub. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're doing so well. This sounds like you're having fun. Thank you! Thank you so heck and much. I appreciate it. Great existential dread. We're back to the shooting analysis. It's all coming together. Yay. I've been stu just studying in my room. So I don't have to think about what's going to happen. Okay. We have to make such a difficult decision. Could you ever have imagine, imagined that you'd we Could you ever Im have imagined that we'd be in this situation? Of course. <sighs> See you, Max. I hope you have a lovely day at work. I hope it goes swiftly. Never in a million years, neither could I. However, know that this that it is happening. We must decide what we are going to do about it. What does she say if I say of course? You're a very interesting person. You know, that's fair. Have you been thinking about the decision we have to make, Lucan? Not really. I have. Me too. It's not an easy decision to make. Anyway. <laughs> You're not well, Blue. No, not really. I knew you'd say that. But there's plenty of time to think about it. Damn, you agree? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. You know when you suddenly get like punched in the heart with like, oh, Blue's a whole character and he has so many feelings and people know him. Fashion news updated. Clothes mavens say you won't be able to survive the winter without this cashmere. Nice. All you think is only pissing, huh? Yeah. Everyone at school is just going about their days as if nothing's wrong. They think everything's normal. I envy them. Ignorant is bliss, huh? He's Ken is a baby. He's two days old. He doesn't have to think these things. Figures. I finally learned something about myself, and now I'm gonna die. This is probably what Chidori meant when she said she was afraid. Now I finally understand. I 
I don't like this game that much, really. Jinpei's made lots of friends and now he doesn't want to die. Wow. Ken popped out of the womb and learned the world was ending. You make a schedule so you can achieve a goal. But without a future, I can't make a training schedule. Damn it, I don't know what to do. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the bathroom because. Hey, remember when that character in Persona 4 did that thing? I don't know. That was fun. Can we go? Yeah. I miss Adachi. He was so joyous. He brought me so much fun. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go pee. Oh wait, Blue can pee as well. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, BR BRB.
Hello, I'll return. Oh, that's the wrong screen. There we go. I have no typo, therefore- uh, wait, I have no typo command, therefore I've never made a typo. I can't believe I misread your thing about a typo. <laughs> I typoed your chat message. <sighs> right. You feel normal. Do I? Do I? Do I? You're on thin ice, that's true. Downpour is on the thinnest ice. I miss when we got recordings, man. haven't discussed the flies at all and I'm like why can we just can we, can we I just uh, the, the town is suddenly full of graffiti I guess maybe we're too sad to even notice I you know that is actually probably pretty understandable This is where this is the tree wet. I guess some looks. I don't even remember how that came about. <laughs> what is Igus doing? Da -da 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 -da. Me neither, and I made it. <laughs> Excellent. We're gonna need like one document for all of the commands, and then one document for all of the lore of said commands. Grief, Edie, incredible, very good, very good. <sighs> Paging books for Lauren, mm, they know, they know all. Right, let's go to the arcade. are coming up. That's a whole nother week we're gonna skip. The world is ending and exams are coming up. <laughs> Hi Fuka, how are you? Good morning. So, Blueken. Have you decided what you're going to do? What I'm gonna do? This is a group decision. I mean, I have decided, but. <laughs> yes, I have. You're so brave, Blueken, but I'm scared. Even Ken Kun is down. What are we going to do? Even Ken Kun? I feel like he's the most down. Like he that he's the baby. Plus that I don't know. Hi JP. Ryuji hasn't been coming to school. I wonder what he's been doing. Junpei, you're so caring. Stop, oh, man. <sighs> like, realistically, obviously, Junpei knows, like, Ryoji has no need to come to school, but it's more like 
Ryoji's all alone and he's sad and he hates what he's doing to the world. Oh my god. Ugh. Your exam scores can affect your career opportunities, you know. Oh man, now I feel sick to my stomach. This test is just another small mountain on my path. The true challenge is the college entrance exam. Everything else is just practice. I'm sure we'll both study more than we ever imagined for that test. Junpei makes new friends and he gets attached. He's just a baby. He just loves having friends. I really wonder if, um... Blue has a lot of lines of dialogue about, like... I don't have any need for friends and like I'm fine on my own like he has so many of those lines of dialogue even like Shinji comments on it like Shinji's like you don't seem to like need that and then it's so interesting considering Feros and Ryoji being like like Feros himself is like I've never had a friend and will you be my friend and I'd love to be friends with you like this is amazing and then Ryoji, when he becomes a being that can be with the physical world, is like desperate to talk to everyone and have all of these experiences and be like, uh, so I wonder if Blue just like, due to life experience and because of Ryoji, like doesn't even have the abilities play one to be close yeah oh no what's the silent hill 2 remake news oh no i'm so interested to hear your thoughts on how the movies characterize blue when you watch them Ooh. I'm very interested. I hate it. What have they done? No. It's something. What have they done? <laughs> oh no. What if I say the words pyramid head origin story? No. You're kidding. No. Literally two days ago, I was saying in the Discord how happy I was that there is no canon of Pyramid Head and that it's interpretive. You're kidding. There's no way. It's in the dis- What? Did they watch my stream and they were like... <laughs> oh, she likes that Pyramid Head has no <laughs> origin. Let's ruin it. Fan favorite character Pyramid Head makes a return along with a special origin story. team understand horror challenge impossible just the the way the phrasing of fan favorite pyramid head is so funny to me fan favorite pyramid head fan favorite <laughs> I 
I wonder why he's a fan favorite. Oh, is it because he's like this really, really cool, like, side to James and like how you can interpret him is completely up to you and you can like understand this story in so many different ways. Anyway, let's tell you what he is now and like how he's here and his origin. Is his origin story just going through James's misogyny? Predictions for the origin. I how can you how? <laughs> Don't you tell me he's from Egypt. So Pyramid Head's origin story is basically there were all of these um like different shapes and different like uh vessels basically. And they all came from Egypt. Um, and um, basically, with the power of them, you can use, uh, you can like play card games in different ways. So, like, say you have like this little pyramid, like necklace sort of thing. This like version of yourself when you play this card game, like, goes like, Yu Gi Oh! And you're and then he like takes over and he's really sassy and he's like you but like kind of different and then like what there's like a piece that's like an eye and you can see what other cards people have i um, uh yeah and um that's his origin story james <laughs> Pyramid Head didn't realize he too could fit in the square hole. I thought you were serious. I am serious. I was just playing that RPG on my cell, but I think I'm finally getting bored of it. Oh man. I wonder if the remake is gonna do a Pyramid Head origin story. There's a top five redeem. Top five Silent Hill fan favorites. Pyramid Head, number one. Uh, Pyramid Head, my number one. Um, also my number two to five, weirdly. Uh, all I can think of is Pyramid Head. A small tree is growing here. It seems to have special meaning. Yeah. Um, I don't, is James a fan favorite? Eddie? Okay, yeah, no, that's true. Okay, my number one, Pyramid Head. Number two, Eddie. Number three, Pizza. Number four, The dog. Number five, the guy that shows up with aliens. Do you wash your lab coat after experiments? Always. Ah, so you like cleanliness. I think that's a wonderful trait in men. Thank you. I don't, I lied to you. My classmate didn't wash his either, and now there's a hole in it. You should be careful about that. Oh. Louisy Pizza would have loved Silent Hill Tooch. Uh, that's true. Top five favorite things about Persona 3. Ooh. Um, my top five favorite things about Persona 3. I love how they do the main cast. I think it's the strongest main cast in a Persona game. I love how they are not tied down to the protagonist. This is going to be a running theme. My number two is I love uh, how awakenings are not tied to social links and social links are not tied to character progression and that characters are have entire arcs and amazing story and substance without it being tied into a social link and therefore not tied to the protagonist. Uh, number three I like is that the antagonists are frequent and not just like out of nowhere and they feel like they've been a slow build throughout the whole game and it feels like a very, like, like a payoff is happening rather than just like suddenly things that are happening. Uh, number four. Uh, I think Elizabeth is the best Velvet Room attendant by Miles. And number five, uh, Piss.
Not out of nowhere unless you miss a very missable situation. Sure. Yeah, the weapons. That's also a really fun one. Um, I love that we can play, we can do all the different weapons. I love that. I think that's great. I miss the weapons of Persona 4 though. Number six, that we all live in the same dorm and they update dialogues. Yeah, that's a big one. I love that. <laughs> If was if Ryoji was a party member, what would he fight with? I feel like he would fight with um I forget if that type of weapon has a name. I was gonna say like, okay, you're saying his scarf, but like this is actually what I was going with. Is like, you know those like swords that like you whip it out and it turns into like chain? Like either like a whip sort of deal or a chain sort of deal. I feel like he'd work with that. Are you buy the thing re I am. Feels wrong. But yeah, I am. I do like that sort of a lot, to be fair. Enough positivity. Top five least favorite things about Persona 3. Um. The romance is confusing. I don't mind social links reversing, personally. I mean, like, it's drama and I don't mind reloading a save for it, but I don't, like, hate it. Um, Tartarus, I like Tartarus. Although I, I, I understand why people have problems with it, but I like it a lot. Um, This, yes, the skip days. Oh my god, yeah. No, I'll, yes. The typhoon. Uh, okay. The romance is confusing. Skipping days is is insane. I wish there were more even evening social links because we have. I don't want to go to Tartarus more than like twice a month. It feels wasteful. Um. So I wish like maybe some of the social links had been moved from day to evening. I think my biggest issue in P3 comes down to pacing. I don't know if I can talk about that because I've not finished the game, but I think the pacing has been like perfect. Far better than other personas. Or not far better, but like obviously it's done differently, but I think it's better for that. Um. Lack of male social links. I don't even know if I think that's a problem. Like, I'm sad that you can't. I guess, no, okay, I guess I can go on my list, sure. Because I'm like... Like, we could do those social links in the evening or something. That would be good. Um... But I don't think I need social links with the boy. Like, I don't think I need social links with anyone in the dorm because they're all so good. Like, they don't need it. So I'm not that fussed by it not being there. But if we could, like, hang out with them in the evening, that would be great. I'd love that. You can't pick skills to inherit? No. I don't mind that, though. But I... Get that. I'd be fine if there were no party member social links at all. Same. Oh, ow. <sighs> Top five doggies in games, anime, bestest boys and girls. Missile. Missile. There's you know in the film 102 Dalmatians? The live action one. Maybe it was still 101. Maybe I'm just thinking of the sequel. 
There was a dog called like Dot. One of the babies was called Dot because it only had like one dot on it and I just loved that dog so much. So they can go on it. Um... Dogs. Kodamari. <gasps> Scratch. Scratch is cute. Yeah, Scratch is very cute. my sims 3 dogs or sims 2 dogs Majima true can Majima go on the list is that cool Pachi can I have Majima <laughs> run with the wind dog true is Majima a dog or a cat he's the mad dog you know Raiden's dog, Wolfie. I like him. He's cool. Wolfie has one of like the best moments in the game, actually. So yeah, sure. You can go in. Match my melon. What a boy. Sephiroth called Cloud Puppy, so does Cloud Count. Joey Wheeler is my favorite dog of all time. <laughs> He's the greatest. <laughs> Ether is great, although it does have some noticeable flaws. I don't know if it's because I'm so in it. I don't think it has... has no flaws that I can't stand. Like, it has none. Um, maybe once I've had some time away from it, I'll be like, oh yeah, I really don't like this. Or whatever. Um, there's obviously scenes I don't like. I think it does too, but most of me would disagree with. only really big floor is the mist like weeks which are really annoying but I'm glad that they learned from that mostly mostly Joey we love bug bug hey I'm walking here Can't slam in Tartarus either. I'd again, I don't really mind that, I suppose. Like I get I can definitely see why it's a flaw. I don't mind it, but I'm like, that is an understandable problem. If that makes sense. Like for me, I don't mind. But if other people are like, that's a huge flaw for me, then I'm like, yeah, I, fair enough. <laughs> Hannah is simply built different. <laughs> Hannah mode scares me. I scare myself. It raises the stakes, so I have no problem with the save system in Tartarus. Yeah, like I like the idea of safe rooms. I really, really do like that in P5, but 
Um, and like they could add that to Tartarus and I'd be fine with it. But like not every floor, like every five floors or something. Like I don't I don't think I'd like it if it was every floor. It's my favorite persona game. I think it's going to be mine. I think I'm just in denial. <laughs> I keep being like not yet. <laughs> We'll see. Go into the high strip mall. Um, the mini floor, the mini boss floor teleporters are safe rooms. They essentially are. Um, but I feel like you could have it slightly more frequently than that. But like, again, I don't, I don't need it. I suppose. Boom, boom. B3 is my favorite game of all time, but I get why it wouldn't be someone's favorite Persona. It wouldn't even be someone's favorite Persona game. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely subjective. And oh, I didn't even get a hello today. Man. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay, that's sad. Wow, is everyone okay? No, yeah, that's fair. It makes you think strategically about stuff like, hmm, we've leveled quite a lot, but Junpei is tired, and if I return to the lobby to save, he'll go home, and we're so close to the next boss, should I stay or should I go, and I love that. Yeah, I like that too. Um, and it forces you to kind of like learn how you want to strategize going through Tartarus. So like, I ended up being like, I want to rush from floor to floor to floor to unlock all of the floors and then I'll go back and grind like that. Like that's how I always went about it. But then someone else might do find a different solution to that. And I think that's cool. So. I've just been studying in my room. It always clear every single floor unless I had the Reaper coming. See, that's so different to how I play, and that's really interesting. It's a thing that feels super frustrating in the moment, but you'll remember fondly once you've overcome it, and I like those kinds of things in games. Yeah, same. That's why I never like being too leveled for a boss. Like, I like being just the right level where it's not like impossible but it's hard because otherwise it just doesn't feel very rewarding <laughs> Me, mean hang in there Junpei Junpei is tired dice from recruit for the boss me <laughs> does he know it's about strategy yeah I think maybe if this was my first Persona game, I might have had some more problems. Like, because Persona 5 taught me to like do one day palaces, I think that helped with me learning how I wanted to go through Tartarus. So. I love Tartarus, but I can understand why people don't. Oh. And it mostly worked. Nice. How's it going knowing we're all gonna die? Great. Oh, pretty fun, yeah. Just the inevitable doom. Pretty chill. I don't know what the point in pissing anymore is, but I do it because it's fun. That's so interesting because for me, P3 not being my first Persona game is actually is not my favorite. As in, you wish you had started with P3? 
543 was really comfy for me. Same. Yeah, big same. I think I would have struggled a lot more in this game without having played 5 and 4. I think P3 has done the path towards the new final villain better for me than 4 and 5. Same. Same. Big same. <laughs> to me, the ideal challenge can be fun in the moment and satisfying looking back on it, but that's super hard to achieve. For some reason, for me, it's one of the rare studios who can make a boss so hard it takes me five hours and I'm never frustrated. That's very fair. Um, how come, uh, I'll jock, if you can say, I guess I don't know if it's spoilery stuff, but I'm curious. P3P changes Tartarus exploration a tiny bit. Um, raining as much as you can on each floor, the first time you get there is a bit more viable, since you can return to the save at any point. You have to pay money to heal your team. There's been so many fireworks! Is it a celebratory Dray? Playing for P4, P5 before P3 really shaped my expectations for P3. And when they went meh, it fell down for me. Interesting! What were your expectations? 543 actually makes so much sense considering 3, in my opinion, has the strongest theme cast but is lacking mechanically. Playing them in reverse sets you up perfectly since you're knowledgeable enough to not need those training wheels by the time you get- Yeah, yeah. I think that's definitely what I- in my experience, for sure. Because I think if I'd started with 3, I would have found it really pretty tough in some movements. Like, in five, I never ever really use defense spells or like strength spells. I don't even, I assume that they exist. I just don't think I, I barely use them. In four, I learned that I really had to use them. And then three, they feel more natural now. And yeah. Crimson Hope, thank you for the follow. Is that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cause I guess it's Saturday. Yeah, damn. P3 has horrendous pacing. I I don't agree, but um, maybe when the game is done, people can explain to me the pacing. Because some people seem to have the big issues with it, but I... There's only one bit of the game where I would say I think the pacing was a little rough. Or like I was a little like, I don't really know what's going on. But aside from that, it's been great. I think for that exact reason is why P3 is the weakest. The gameplay getting more and more bay bones going backwards hurt the experience more than I saw with P3 and went forwards. Interesting. how empty the later months start to feel. That's actually curious because I felt like the second month was the emptiest month. And I was like, like there was this bit with like, Fuka. And I was just like, I have stuff to do. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say like story-wise I felt like that, but no, I, I get that. Once you've like maxed your stats, evenings feel a lot more bare bones. Like, or a lot more, there's not as much stuff to do once your stats are all done. Um, Cause the evenings work really well to be able to get your stats up, but then, um, Once they're done, it's kind of a little more empty. This is why Yak is a persona. Is it though? 
<laughs> I went five, three, four, and that spike in difficulty from five to three made me sour to it during the beginning, but the characters made it worth it to the end, while three to four made me feel like four was the weakest aside from its non-party social links. Yeah, I would love if they balance the social links a little bit. I think that would be really neat. Like move the your move the C's social links all to the evening, I think would be good. Because then then it's like instead of uh going to Tartarus, you're hanging out with them. So I think that works, but Persona doesn't have rubber bullets. I love rubber bullets. However, Yakuza 3 does exist and it I The early months were more empty, in my opinion, and story wise starts ramping up in August, September. I went 4 5 3, and I feel going from the weakest game to the strongest greatly benefited my love for the Persona series. Mm -hmm. 4 5 3 is a cool, cool way to do it. And again, I wonder, like, how I'd feel about each game if I played it in a different order. Because like I love four and I love characters that are pretty hated in four, but I wonder if I would feel that way if I hadn't have experienced five first. I went 5 4 3 and honestly I felt like 5 had the best gameplay through, the best story before, the best group dynamic. Mm, that's cool. I'm gonna try reload. I hope you enjoy it. <gasps> oh, that's really cute, Giselle. I went three, four, five, but I played Nocturne before three, so I had no problem. <laughs> so I came to difficulty. Nice. That's good. I went five, three, four, and I definitely think that might be why I couldn't bring myself to finish four. I think going three to four, I would find harder than going five to four. Which is weird. I watched four, uh, watch three FES up until November. Play three FIFA, uh, female route. Uh, one partly, two partly, five. Ooh. I think it's worth trying them all, but I can understand if people can't stay interested in a particular game. They all strengths and weaknesses. True, true. The problem I have with pacing MP3 is in terms of gameplay. I think that's maybe something interesting that is a, a division amongst. Like, because when I say I don't really have any issues with pacing at all, I think I don't count the gameplay side of things. I think I only really see it in a narrative. Because then for me at least, like P5 would be, if I was thinking about pacing, including gameplay in P5, I think like the first couple of months, well, I guess the narrative's good, but the, the gameplay in the first couple of months of P5 for me was not like, great. But again, that could have been because it was my first Persona game and I didn't really know what I was doing and I was kind of fishing stuff out but it didn't feel like that that was mu that much to do. So it's it's really interesting because it all depends like how you experience it, I think. Oh, 
Oh yeah, no, because Morgana won't let you go out for a while. Yeah, then I would say I think 5 and 3 have similar problems when, with that then, if it's including that. What was an attempt to make a game that was more likeable and cozy? No, that makes sense, I think. Big time, yeah. I've only played 4 and 3, and I vastly prefer 3 in a lot of areas. Um, even though I don't hate 4 or anything, and my favourite part in 4 was running around in dungeons, levelling up, and fusing my persona, so I have no problem with Tartarus having so little story in it. Yeah. So true, Daddy Yum Yum, so true. I don't know, it's so interesting. I'm like reflecting on all of my Persona experiences now and I'm like, I, did I do I think this because of that I played it first or do I think this because it's actually what I think or do I play Yaldaba? I've only played five. Well, I tried two times and just couldn't get into it and I do think that being on rails was a big factor to it. Yeah, I think I really, really didn't like that because I played the first month of Persona 5 Royal twice. And I think the first time I didn't like enjoy it that much. There were a lot of factors, but I think I didn't enjoy the gameplay that much at all. And then the second time around, because I knew it was going to happen, I found it easier. I'm not very interested in the four characters aside from Kanji and Teddy. There's not enough drama. Where's the hatred? Where's the angry murder plots? If they don't all hate each other, I just can't get into it anymore. <laughs> I big agree with the Tartarus causing pacing, pacing issues point. When I replayed P3P, I noticed there were IRL days where I would think I'd do Tartarus because I'm getting zero story today if I only had two hours to play. Hmm. So like if Tartarus had more story in it, would you have felt differently? Like if there were cutscenes within Tartarus itself? I just hate to do one thing and the day is over. Yeah, I can yeah, I can get that big time. Yeah, exactly. Just little bits would help. Like even P5 Mementos has enough story in it. Interesting. Because Mementos is my I hate Mementos. I think it's so boring. <laughs> so it's so wild to me. But, but, but maybe because I went through Mementos, I grew stronger and then uh, now I like Tartarus. I don't know. It that it, and again, that takes me back to like is it because I played five first that I like Tartarus? And if I had played this first, would I hate Tartarus? I don't know. It's so interesting. And like, because, like, because Mementos, like, thank God I had done like pretty much all of Mementos before third semester, because otherwise I genuinely think it would have colored my opinion on third semester at least a little bit, because I, I, I don't find it interesting. I find it so boring. I don't care about the requests that much. I just don't care. The party dialogue's pretty good. But yeah. Or was it, no, sorry, was it third semester or was it the finale? I don't remember when you have to do it by, but yeah. Uh, in P5, there's no real objective until almost the end of the game, not counting the third semester. Yeah, I can see that. I've never had any pacing problems with P3 narratively outside of the first couple of months. This sort of empty feeling at this point of the narrative is so perfect for what the characters feel. Yeah, I, I definitely do agree with that. How you feel about Mementos is how I feel about Tartarus. Yeah, and that's how, that's kind of how I'm like, I can understand that. Which is, again, is why I'm happy that I went 5, 4, 3. For me, Tartarus just has this like entire vibe to it that is so... 
tied with everything in the game. So for me, getting each document was so rewarding and it felt like I was piecing together this puzzle and it was so fascinating. Whereas Mementos just felt like I was walking through mud and I was just bored and I don't, I didn't care about the requests and Morgan is a bus, great. Uh, Climbing a tower, also with Fuku playing bang is directly in our brains. I enjoy Morgana Bus, it's great! I just, it just, it doesn't save Mementos in any way. I liked running over shadows though, that was great. That was wonderful. Also the Mementos song. Fuck that song. <laughs> no, man. No. The mental music is way worse than Vidal. Yeah, I've heard the horror stories. Oh. Oh, ow. That song is the only part of P5 I actively hate. Full handled dungeons the best in my opinion. Each one had a reason for existing and there was variance in each one, plus how they related to the subconscious that was created was much more interesting. I I uh mostly agree. Somewhat agree. For me, like so for me there were no uh maybe I could be forced to order them. But for the dungeons and palaces, there aren't many that like stick out to me. Apart from the Royal uh, Palace and Kanji's Dungeon. Those two are like the ultimates to me. They are the best. I think they're amazing. I think they're great. I love them dearly. I think they are like, and Heaven actually, Heaven as well. Those three are like the three to me, um, but mostly Kanji and um, Third Semester. So I think I just don't necessarily have the attachment to the dungeon or palace style and therefore I quite like Tartarus because I just, it just works with my brain I guess, I don't know. Size so palace kind of rad, it's very rad, it's very rad, don't get me wrong, but I just can't like, and there's aspects to size palace that I like love. Um, like I love that the back rooms are full of like all of this self-hatred and like the main room is decadent in a certain way. I think it's really cool. Um, but I just don't have the emotions to go with that. Whereas Kanji and Heaven and Third Semester do. I've literally gone to sleep on the mental script. Weirdly enough, I somewhat prefer grinding that's detached from the narrative since I can just listen to a podcast or something and then make the funny numbers go up. Having somewhat repetitive combat broken up with semi-important narrative bits every 20-ish minutes can be hell for me. I, I think I big agree. Because obviously, again, my perspective is so altered by being a streamer so what i would do with four and what i've done with three several times is like i would save in the dungeon or in tartarus to go just grind on my own and that would be great like i would be so happy to do that and because then i can just listen to my own thing i can go do my own thing but i never did that with mementos I know AJ, it's, my ears are bleeding. <laughs> no, I've not crimson.
but almost all about characters that don't interest me. Yeah, no, I can definitely see that. I, I think the palaces start incredibly strong with Kamoshida and then weaken out and then peak again and then weaken out again. And then peak, 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 peak. But yeah. I'm such a Zelda girly that the P5 palace looks good to me so much. They're funny little puzzles and things. Yeah, I love all that. But again, the emotional side of things. It really, really varied. This is exactly the kind of conversations that would be happening at the end of the night in the club when you get too many drinks in. <laughs> no, like you didn't get it. Like he was he wasn't a villain, he was an antagonist, and he was trying his best and he just wanted us to be happy. Like it's you just gotta like play that semester again. You just like, give him a chance. Please. That would be me. So I think I prefer the idea of the four dungeons because I felt like they were so like personally tied to people that I did care about, whereas fives had higher highs, but like the characters themselves, I wasn't always like super interested in. Or like, I don't think about the characters now, but I do with four. And like, for me, a big thing with finishing a game or how something will affect me is I want to think about it after I'm done. I don't think about Kanashiro ever. Apart from that you turned into a fly, that was great. Um, he. But like Kamashida, I think about him. I think about Third semester, every day of my goddamn life. I think about Kanashiro too much. <laughs> you got a Kanashiro problem. I think there's something interesting about being in the heads of bad people. It's fascinating. Don't get me wrong. It's 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 fascinating. I love I like the palaces a lot. Um, this is not me trying to say I think they're trash. It's more like comparing them and how they affect me. Price is such a banger. It's one of my favorite palace musics. It's so good. Blue is giving that fortune to the thousand yards. Just because Akechi's a bad guy doesn't mean he's a bad character. Even though I was never in love with Tartarus, the fact that you don't control your party members in P3 makes it less lonely, monotonous in a funny way. Yeah! I so agree with that. I I so, 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 so agree. I'm shaking your hand. I'm 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 upvoting. I'm retweeting. I'm reblogging. Yeah. Um, the characters express their personalities through their AI, AI behavior. It's very charming. Yes, I, I so agree. Yeah, like Junpei being mad at me and then waiting like nine turns in a row was incredible. Oh my god, I'll never forget. It was incredible. It, I'll never forget that. Honestly, in Reload, I'll probably give the party controls a go, but I think I'm just going to turn them to AI because it just feels wrong controlling them. They're their own people. I'm not them. They are them. Yeah, like whenever Aki chooses to heal Ken, my heart just explodes. I don't think things, like, those things were related. No, of course they're not, but like it tells its own story. Like the AI itself can have such an impact on your playthrough, which it can't in the other ones, unless you choose those options. It's, it's so good. I love it. 
supposedly AI got fixed, so they should be competent. My team have never been incompetent once. Ignore what I said about Junpei waiting eight turns in a row. I want him like that. He's better like that. Comment Junpei W. True. True. You've changed my mind? I'm on it. I refuse to fix him. Yeah, like I want them to make mistakes. I don't want it to be perfect. It's not... I don't know. I think it all just ties so well together with P3. Maron Karen! She successfully cast it like twice! It was amazing! Did that one boss fight, she did the whole thing! <laughs> that was all her! Uh, fixes an AI for P4. Oh, I see, I see. I know a lot of people have complained about the AI for this game, so maybe that's so. I don't know. Hi, Aki. We never get mornings with Aki. Hey, Blue. Don't you think it's funny? We have so much to worry about, but we're still going to school as if nothing's changed. Yeah. Have you decided yet? No, but I'm not ignoring it either. Nice. Exams start next Monday. We're still a little ahead of schedule, so let's review the raw material. Uh, the raw material? The material, sure. When I say electromagnet magne Lawrence Fleming's left hand rule cut, sugar will come immediately to mind. I won't be giving partial credit if you write right hand rule. Got it? Got it? Okay, let's move on. You can sleep. Oh. Sorry. It's really satisfying when the AI at clear enemies by themselves makes them feel like teammates and not puppets. Yeah, it gives them so much autonomy. Like, the characters just have so much agency in this game. Not that the other personas don't, but it just feels extra with this game. Are you asking me if there's any tricks to getting smarter? Sure, there's an easy one. It doesn't even require any memorization. Here it is. Study. Honestly, how can you not know that? Well, they're probably asking how to study. Human is imperfect, natural are imperfect, therefore perfection look too artificial. Study. How? Do it. Body is in excellent condition. You're so right. Oh my gosh, winnering 369. <laughs> <laughs> My body is next to the but my soul. My soul is stuck in the TV. Instead of studying at the library, we're going to study in his room. Huh, on one second, on second thought, maybe I should tell him I can't study today. Oh. Okay. A teacher reminds me of a comic of a kid asking a parent how to do a thing, and the parent goes, Back in my day, we had to do X before we could even Y, and the kid goes, I remain untold. That reminds me, oh, do you remember that whole, like, what was it, like, Beans tweet? When it was, like, this dad, like, it was, like, this guy, and he was, like, complaining about how his daughter didn't know how to cook beans. 
or something. And then everyone was like, why don't you just teach her how to cook beans? Like, how is she meant to just know? I think it was something like that. Bean dad. Like so many parents don't teach their uh, kids how to like clean and cook. Like I've never, I don't think I've ever, apart from one meal, I don't think I've been taught how to cook a single meal in my life. I've been taught how to cook curry and that's it. The rest I just kind of Google how to boil egg, I, you know? <laughs> I don't know. He was what? Oh wait, he, yeah, I remember the my brother, my brother, my brother and me thing. My brother, my brother, my brother, and my brother, two brothers and me. Did you cook the curry or arson? The, that curry I wasn't taught to do, and then that I did do an arson. The curry was unrelated to the arson. Yeah, this this one curry was supervised. The curry that wasn't supervised did re result in arson. Which, hey, doesn't that just show it all? Oh my gosh, it stresses me out so much. I know that it just shows that your mom and my mom's the same. I just very comfortable with cooking and no like eyeball amounts of like ingredients and they can cook like that. But it stresses me so much when a recipe just says like, just chuck in however much of X you want. No, how much? How much? Tell me how much. I don't know how much to put in. And I just won't make the recipe. And then that's it, done. I cook like that. I can do that with like stuff I now know how to make. But if someone was like, here's a recipe for something. And then it was full of just like a handful of bar. I'd be like, a big handful, a small handful. What? How much handful? Oh. And it would stress me out and I get very upset and then I wouldn't cook. Not come out. Oh no. Yeah, everyone's hands are different sizes. What does it mean? What does it mean? She bakes without measurements? Well, baking's like a science. How? Oh. Your mum is so strong. She's so powerful. I thought that's a very ADHD thing. To need to know like the exact thing. She makes the best bread and I'm like, how do you do that? Oh, fresh bread. Oh, it's been so long. Yeah, it's definitely a neurodivergent thing. Ah. to burn my bread. I get that reference. I get it. You and Mamoru ate takoyaki together. Oh, this, this is so good. Should I bring some home? I'll have to pay for it if I do. Hmm. I can spot, I can, I can, I will pay. Nah, that's fine. I still have a little bit left. Hopefully enough. Mamoru rejected your offer. Oh, by the way, about my mom. She gets to come home from the hospital soon. Yay! Hopefully I can help her a bit more since I finally got the hang of taking care of everything. Oh, everyone, I think. Guess what? My clubmates said they'd help me take care of stuff. One of them offered to pick up my sister from preschool. Everybody's been worried about me. I mean, I thought I was the only one who cared and I ended up ignoring everyone else there. 
And after all that, it was probably my fault nobody seemed focused on winning. I don't know if I like that takeaway, but like the rest was very sweet. You have an egg cooker? I don't even know what an egg cooker is. I mean, I assume it's a thing that cooks eggs, but wow. <laughs> Believe it or not, that is kind of a relief. Aww. I feel better about everything. Now that I know how people really feel about the club and everything. An egg cooker is where Eggie goes to think. It's very German and very useful. It steams the eggs. Ooh. This is just great. I mean, I already totally loved it. Oops, I guess I kind of started rambling then. I gotta run. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> and don't forget, I can focus on training again because you've got my back. So, thanks buddy. Memory seems to feel better about things now. <laughs> Angel. Oh my gosh, I had never ever used an electric can opener until like literally two weeks ago and I was like, wow, this is incredible. The magic that this is. Wow. Who knew? And like the best thing about it was, was that like there was like a magnet bit. So then the lid just like stayed on the magnet and I could just pluck it off. Whereas normally I'm like, you put your fingers in and then the, the can cuts your fingers and you're like, oh God, it's all terrible. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Uh, really? Does not everyone have a kettle? I feel like kettles is such a British thing. I don't think I've ever met anyone in or gone to someone's kitchen and they haven't had a kettle. Ooh, that sounds cool, penguin. I don't know what we're gonna do for the other two things of this social link. It sounds like Mamoru's fixed his whole life. Oh, hey! Hi! It's been a week since Ryuji-kun was here. I couldn't sleep for three days after that. Do you think it's weird for me to be this scared? No, I think it's the most normal thing ever. Everyone's scared. Yeah, I guess you're right. You don't really know how much you take your life for granted. Until there's a possibility you might lose it. It's difficult to explain. Oh. We boil the tea in a saucepan. Ooh. I've been just studying in my room. I'm suddenly interested. <laughs> Do do skip? Oh, it's all dialogue I've had before, so that's why it's fine to skip. I haven't thought about the decision at no. all. What decision? <laughs> Karija! <laughs> oh. We used to do that when I was a child, and one year we, uh, one year old me reached the handle and tipped. <gasps> no, 
a penguin! Oh my god, my heart dropped reading that. Holy moly. That's scary. <sighs> I can't imagine how microwaving the water you put... Like, I get microwaving tea to warm it back up or something. But I can't imagine, like, using the microwave to make tea. Hannah would never skip story content. And this is a highly important scene that she can't see because she unknowingly went to Tartarus on the most wrong day of the year. Yeah, it's great. Ah! Okay. Well, my friends. We're gonna end here. Not really on any sort of high note, um, but on a note, so. <laughs> the world is ending, but we must still go to school. Yeah, it's six hours. Um, oh my goodness. I hope you have the most wonderful weekends. Um, it felt so weird having a full moon without a boss or anything. It felt so low key. I'm like, wow, everything's, broken in the world i guess it is uh, so thank you all so 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 much for hanging out five full days of streaming this week holy moly next week we'll, we will be back to four um i'm planning on doing my shinjiro nails as well which will be fun um you can join the Discord if you would like to keep up with the schedule and also just the Discord is full of lovely people. We also have a Persona 3 discussion uh, chat where apparently you can talk about your thoughts on Ryoji and maybe other characters too. Um, and then also YouTube, I uploaded a video this week if you would like to check it out, that would be very sweet. And that's kind of it. Next week we'll be continuing P3. Are we getting close to the end? Maybe? I don't know! I want to scream! I don't know what game we're playing next! Ah! Um... Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, I will see you all next Wednesday, or I'll see you in the Discord, and I hope you have an amazing, amazing rest of your days. Yakuza next week? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna drop Persona 3 now and move on to Yakuza. It's time. <laughs> I'll see you all uh next week bye bye friends